All right, so I think we're finally alive again. I'm trying to be alive again. This time I have a chat window, so maybe I can actually see what you guys are saying. That would be really kind of nice. Uh, there it comes back. <laughs> I'm sure live chat was working for everyone else, but for some reason, whenever I try to open it up, especially when I feel like I'm crushed for time, YouTube's like, eh, I'll hide it. And you'll have no way of finding it once you're screaming live. So, good luck. That's why I keep starting and restarting the streams. And hi, it's 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 Monday. I'm I'm having a, a full-on case of the Mondays. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I think she's 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 having a similar Monday as well. I'm excited that I'm finally actually getting to start the live stream. I'm excited that I've got the chat window uh, opened uh, apparently. And oh, you know what happened? All the other stuff was probably not on because I had to reset it. Oh, you know what? They're finally in their spot. They're finally in their spot. <laughs> Right? And not barking? Enable live chat, slow mode, save. Yeah, all the things that should be, you know, um, what do you want to call it? Um, Enabled and taken care of. Default. <laughs> yeah. Hey, giant man. Thank you for the, uh, Thank you for the for the thank you for the donation. That's that's very awesome. Uh, I am not currently selling the thorax, so I that's really kind of funny to sound. I'm not selling the abdomen either. I'm not currently selling the thorax. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have, uh... <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. But when you do. But when when I do. Keep you in mind. Yeah. Definitely trying to keep you in mind. Hey, look, Nicole's here too. Right on. So, selling props. I've been I've been talking with with my family, been talking with my wife, been talking with Joe, been been confirming with with other friends about what do we do? Because uh, when I started, I was making about twenty six a year because I was doing it every two weeks. Now I'm making fifty two plus a year because I'm doing one every single week. I'm definitely having a problem with too many props. I think I brought this up before. There's stuff stacked in the shelves. There's, there's stuff not being taken care of. I've had a few pieces go out, right? But not most of them. So what I've been doing is actually putting together the pieces to make uh, certificates of authenticity. Okay. Because uh, I've known a number of real prop collectors, and that was always the big thing. Oh, you got this thing? Do you have the, the certification that it was actually from the movie with it? So I've got my paper, I've got a little uh, crimper that, that, that has the Odin Makes logo on it. This is genuine screen use. Uh, I've got the gold foil sticker. So now just trying to get the artwork made for the certificate. And then we'll actually start putting a few props up. Not many, but we'll uh, start putting a few props up uh, for sale. Probably, um, we're talking about probably doing eBay at first, right? Just to see where it goes with a reserve. And if it doesn't sell, then it'll move to Etsy where it'll just live permanently until it does sell. And my patrons will know first firsthand uh, when the props going up and, and all that stuff because I want to give them first crack. At one point in time, I was trying to give props like a raffle to my patrons, right? As, as I started out trying to do this, um, that became classified as online gambling, so I'm not allowed to do that anymore. That is technically online gambling. Yeah, it isn't is. It? Yeah, it is. And I was going to have it all shut down if I didn't stop doing it. It's like, well, that's an easy decision then. Okay, so <laughs> let's auction it off. Yeah, so let's I'll just put it on eBay. Now, at the same time, uh, I could uh, potentially put up a prop for a flat fee, like a one-time donation flat fee on, um, on Patreon, and then it's a first-come, first-serve. And that's okay, because that's not gambling. That's just, I've got one and I can sell it. But putting it on eBay is gambling? No, because that's an auction site. That's not gambling. I just meant I can't have a raffle. Okay, that makes that, sense. That's that what I can't have. Because that's that's everybody paying and only one person getting a reward. And and honestly, that was a bad plan to begin with. I wasn't sure. I kind of wanted to try it. I also got called out by Bill Duran, I think. there was a He did a, a, a post at one point. Yeah. And I was totally hearing it going, yeah, I'm sure this is directed towards me. And he's totally right. But I had no idea how to stop it at that point. That I had started the train, right? You just so, got to try, right? Yeah. So. so. But the good news is, if two of you are watching, there are two patrons who did win something. You still haven't received it yet because I'm a world-class a-hole. Um, now that I got my certificate papers put together, I'm going to get those two things sent out. I'm sure they're not watching, but if they are, those two things are going to get sent out. And then 
we'll really start going with 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 actually moving larger and smaller and, and he, here and there. It's going to be completely up to us and, 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 and our whim as to which one goes up for sale. Yeah, but pay attention. But pay attention. Pay attention because it looks like things are coming up. So. Yep, things are coming up. Uh, one thing I will mention now that I'm seriously looking at are the uh, Blades of Chaos from God of War. I have a set of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're really cool, but honestly, they've been moved around and buried under strata for too long. So it's like, oh, apparently... Um, they keep popping up. Because... They keep popping up, yeah. So yeah. apparently that's that's one thing that's going to come up pretty soon. I see some blue in the chat. What's that one? Um, Nat Man? Giant oh, was it man? Giant Man again? Giant Man. Nat. Nat. Sorry. <laughs> it's Nat Man. Nat, 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 nat. Sorry. <laughs> giant Man. Hey, Giant Man. Hit follow and like buttons. Yeah. Yeah. I never... Hey, Giant Man. <laughs> right. So, uh, as, as Giant Man recommends, I'd like all of you to hit that follow button, hit the like button, smash the notification bell, and get known so you know when we're doing something again, probably before we know what we're doing, because... For some reason, the default settings from the last stream don't hold over to the next stream. <sighs> but, you know, I suppose if I wasn't... Let me be honest with you. When she showed up at 11 o'clock today, I was standing right here reading my VO for Wednesday's video. That's well over 24 hours later than it should have been. I should be reading that VO on Saturday. I'm usually doing it Sunday morning. I was doing it Monday afternoon just for the live stream because that's how behind I am on this week's video. But... It's going to get done. Joe's out applying the, the, the plastic coat to it right now for, for the beginning of painting. So keep in mind that as of this time on Monday, which it's what, noon 10 for me, the initial stages of painting are starting for the video that you're going to see on Wednesday. So I've got less than 48 hours to finish the project and get it edited. Paint All, has to dry. Paint has to dry. Paint has to dry. Paint has to dry. It's an easy paint job. He's, he's all silver. But. but paint still has to dry before you can do anything. Right. right? <laughs> and right. then you still have to wait on that to do the rest. Yes. Yes. And I just realized I've been talking away like mad. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not saying a whole lot. Hey, did did you have anything you wanted to say? <laughs> no, I went to the fabric store this morning and actually got some vinyl. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so we have some vinyl to move on to with our project. Cool. This is for the clamshell armor? Yep. All right. Yeah, super simple, but I don't know. Cool. Fabric store is exciting. <laughs> Although I do spend way too much time in them, so I can't really talk. No, it's all good. I get it. So somebody said it sounds like war over here, but... <laughs> sounds like war over here? Why, because of the dogs barking or... I don't know. Quieter now or is it just I'm making too much noise? I don't know. It could have been crazy. They were kind of doing laps around us there they for were. a minute. And now Bruno's over there and Toby's over here. Right. I just to make sure I don't want to step on Toby again because I feel really bad anytime I step on Toby. Yeah, but... There's Bruno. Yeah, but PJs. they were just like running around in circles around us. Okay. All right. You know, I probably should turn on my Discord. By the way... For all, any of you who happen to be patrons or who, who want to be, I do have a Discord set up specifically for doing live stream to keep uh, my, my patrons' voices easier to be heard. Uh, but um, it doesn't work when you don't turn it on. Right. Sorry. Plastic bags. Plastic bags. It's all part of it. There we are. Oh, yes. So the only pre-thing that happened, uh, I didn't get any questions beforehand, because sometimes I get questions to, to, to answer. But uh, the Discord name, Stratus88, I quite, quite haven't paired that name up with, uh, with a patron yet, but Stratus88, who is in Australia, is saying that they, they, had, to go, they had to go to sleep. It was, it was getting to be way too early in the morning. They weren't going to be able to stay up. Sweet dreams. So sweet dreams. I hope you had some good rest, and I hope that uh, you enjoy watching the... The, the, the live stream after the fact. Oh, you never did get this stuck together, did you? Nope. <laughs> it has three layers on there. It'll have but three layers on there. <laughs> they never quite got attached, did they? So Jerry Rig Props has got a fantastic uh, thing, which is how would you even ship something like Soul Edge? Wrapped well, in bubble wrap. Bubble wrap would be a huge one. So uh, specifically, I doubt Soul Edge will get shipped. Um, I imagine it's like the same problem if you had to ship a dead body, you know? It's about the same size, wrap it. Sounds like you've got some experience with this. No, we just at Smosh, we used to like compare things to like just having to. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, she's right. Wrap it, wrap it in bubble wrap. I've actually have uh, sold and shipped things like uh, I had a Nintendo GameCube um, demo console, like the ones that used to stand in, in Target. 
Uh, it actually came from a GameStop. But uh, I actually built a crate for it. And I know I can get uh, fairly easy cardboard crates. Is that sticking? Is it, it needs another layer. No, it, it does need another layer. I okay. just was pre-see <laughs> how it fits together. There's a little, it is a little, little it's a little, bit of a... We want to start in the middle. No, I know. That's why I was <laughs> pre-checking like how it's going to fit together before it's sticky. Right, okay. <laughs> so I don't have to like... Panic? That. So something like the Soul Edge or or any of the other larger weapons or props uh, probably end up making a, uh, a like a cardboard shipping crate, which I know I there's a there's a place locally I can get that done, and that's how I would end up shipping it. Uh, ideally, anything big like that, you guys could come by and pick up because that'd be a lot easier for me. But it's all good. It, it, it becomes it just becomes part of it. Oh, it's over there. I was like, where's the sticky stuff? That's okay. I'll, do that. <laughs> I'll stop talking. No, the, it's fine. People like talking. Okay, let's see what people are saying. Yes, please Whoa, do. Oh, people, hi, you guys have been saying a lot. And hi, 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 and hi. Hello, hello, hi. Yo, yes. hi. <laughs> Well, I can do I can do shout outs to my patrons of Rodimus Prime, uh, who's Nicole in the in the in the main chat, and Jerry Rig Props, who's uh, if I remember correctly, is hailing from the UK. So good evening to you, sir. And we have a hello from San Diego, and I saw a hello from Switzerland, and Sweet. the north of Wales, of oh, West England. So I was on a podcast uh, through Discord. I don't know where it is exactly, uh, where it's posted right now on Saturday night, and it was. Uh, started out with ten different uh, cosplayers, and and it was like a two and a half hour podcast. So people dropped out. One of them was in South Africa, and uh, she was no, okay. Her accent and the way she spoke was fantastic to listen to. That was really cool. She she mm -hmm. sounded really cool. But then um, it was fun hearing the names of the cons, which all make total sense. I don't know why I would expect me to name something different. But uh, even Comic Con apparently is now having a uh, Comic Con International South Africa. So, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Yay for yeah. global communities. Yay for global communities, exactly. Love your fellow humans. For sure. Hey, we have a Will Doze. He's starting a YouTube channel as well. So oh, sweet. Good luck. And they like your Mandalorian shirt. Thank you. It's a Christmas present for my wife last year. It's like, you know, I'm enjoying the new, new season, so I thought I'd wear Mandalorian really quick today. Nice. I'll try to... I'm trying to keep wearing different shirts in the live streams because I'm enjoying that. <laughs> um, we have the Chocolate Milk Man. He's <laughs> made the blade of Blades of Chaos. Wait, Blade of Chaos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just one, huh? No, no, it's all good. <laughs> I can't read it yet. Anybody who's, who's trying to do any kind of chat on mobile, you just... As someone who couldn't spell with pen and paper, I have no problems giving people a pass on, on, on electronic devices. <laughs> right? I've... But Blades of Chaos, very fun. Uh, something that's that's enjoyable uh, to me with my Blades of Chaos is that the um, Santa Monica Studios retweeted them, so which I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was like, thank you guys. Recognition is, is freaking cool. <laughs> Here you yeah. go. You're looking forward, I think. No, oh, I'm not okay. yet. I was just kind of thinking about how I was going to do the shoulders before we did the shoulders. Oh. Okay, Jerry, I'm really sorry I'm seeing that uh, not in the UK, I'm in Ireland, so... I apologize. <laughs> There's a difference. There is a difference. There is absolutely a difference. I'm a Yank. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The British Isles? Is it part of that? Yes. Yeah. It's still the British Isles. Like, I'm just wondering how big of the circle do you go out that you could get it all encompassed? Right. Well, Ireland is definitely separate from, but, um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 So I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what were you saying? Is that something new? Um, or did you scroll back up to Giant Man again? No, I think that's a new one from Giant Man. But Giant Man again? <laughs> yeah. Or I wonder if it's the same one just keeps popping up. I don't know, but he says hello from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, And sweet. he's glad he found your channel. Right on. Hello, Giant Man, and thank you for finding our channel. Yes. And then we got someone from Slovakia. Oh, sorry, I can't pronounce it. Is it Czech? <laughs> no, Slovakia. Oh, Slo Slovakia? Slovakia. Yes, so Slovakia. Yes, Slovakia. Got it? I think. I tried. Yeah, it sounds right to me. I'm distracted by by Discord. Yeah, we haven't even started. Well, you started. The glue is wet. Yeah, well, I'm letting it dry a little bit. Yeah. I need hold, to do holding on to my warm drink. So it's California, and it's California cold, which is not cold to anybody else. But uh, sweatshirts and hot cocoa <laughs> are necessary. Cocoa. So what's awesome for my shop in the summer is that that is a north-facing wall, which means 
the sun never hits this wall and the shot never gets that hot the summer. And that is ideal. Whenever fall comes and winter comes, the sun never hits this wall and it never warms up and it gets cold in here. <laughs> And the only issue is that it affects, you know, it's a little uncomfortable for the humans. Uh, it affects the paint. It affects the glue. And that's more the issue than, than well, for me, you know, because yeah. I'm kind of an, I've got kind of an Arctic build. I think it bugs her a lot. I think it's almost painful. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't feel that bad that glue agrees with me that it's cold. Right. Oh, yeah. The no. pa spray paint is like, yo, it's too cold to be outside to be doing this. Right. And I'm agreeing, going, you know, it's a little too cold. It's a little too cold, yeah. <laughs> But I need this project done tomorrow, so. So, um. <laughs> Some warm water in a bucket. Get your act together. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, let's see. Apparently, a Stratus 88 had sent a question to Rodimus Prime. Uh, if I can make a video, Stratus88 wants to know if I can make a video with three different types of Batarangs. And he said he wanted the 89 Batarang, the Batfleck Batarang, and the Adam West Batarang. Well, that's interesting. Well, I made the, um, I'm not against it. You know, I've made one Batarang for a 3D printer review, and okay. I made the, the Bat Belt for DIY Prop Shop, which became part of Smosh Stuff. I remember that because yeah. I stole that belt. Yeah. Yeah. Do you actually have it stolen, or is it... Uh... No, it ended up with all the other yeah. costumes, but I stole it from you. And That's fine. I <laughs> did all the costumes and That's used fine. it a lot, but um, yeah, I remember that belt. Yeah. I also wouldn't mind doing a, a, a human-sized Lego Batman battery. Um, yeah, maybe. So you made one out of plastic, um, um, metal. How would I make them? Yeah. Which, which materials would you choose? That's actually kind of a fun, fun thought. It would be not hard to make them out of uh, the, the PVC uh, Sintra, so the foam PVC sheet. It's kind of like how I did uh, uh, Bifrost behind us. Well, do you plan on throwing them at people? No, I don't plan on throwing any of them. <laughs> that also affects, you know, like, yeah. do you plan on, you know, like, if you make it, are you go, what are you going to do with it? So what are you going to make it out of? So, right. I don't know. Chances are I would have just displaying them. Um, it's not a bad plan. With three different batteries, it might be fun to try to do it in, with three different mediums, like 3D print one. Take the most complicated one to 3D print it. Do one out of uh, a resin foam PVC or the resin. Other stuff. Yeah. Oh, resin. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I did a 3D print resin. And um, um, yeah. I don't know, I could try doing one out of foam. The Adam West one I could probably do out of foam because if I remember correctly, it had the least amount of detail on it. But it's been a while. It has it has the profile, and it was metallic blue-ish, but I don't think it had massive amounts of panel line details. Not like the eighty nine back battering does. I think that one would be the. When you, I wonder which one's the most aerodynamic, <laughs> right? Who did that? King of Random, uh, YouTube channel King of Random. He would take old saw blades, and they basically made battering shurikens out of them. You cut them down and sharpen them up and throw them in a start board. <laughs> Is glue dry enough? Uh, no, actually. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's Still not, waiting on glue to dry. Because it's cold. Oh, I can yeah. turn on the air conditioner. Turn on the. It's an air conditioner. It's conditioning the air. Um. <laughs> but then we can't talk. Yeah. Shoulders. Don't we need to add a, like a little extra? Does it fit with the shoulders meeting together? Oh, gotcha. On. We'll have to actually pull up. Uh, Thorkeleses. Uh, Thorkeles, yeah, to see if it's actually gonna, gonna yeah. fit. Because uh, I know it we will probably that down. need like it'll, extenders. It'll probably need a little extender, yeah, to, to fit, and also to, to be a little more flexible. If we had a just a couple backpack straps. That's a load bearing joint. <laughs> yeah. You know, seam that will get pulled heavily. Right. Will this be up to the job, or should we lace it? Uh, lacing would be great. We can we can. Um, we can glue in straps a couple of different ways. We can uh, rivet straps onto it, you know, with, with leather rivets. Um, uh, I wouldn't want to run this through your sewing machine, not this one. No, not that one. Um, I don't have the right needles. I don't have an awl. We have yet to buy an awl. <laughs> Amazon have... wish, wish list, awl. Uh, <laughs> I have an awl, I just haven't brought it. <laughs> it used to be in that ruler kit over there, was but. That, it was a queen song, right? We want an awl. We anyway. want an awl. We need an awl. 
Well, all right. Anyways. Oh, and uh, hopefully, this is how I should look it up his name. There's someone else who should be watching, which is the um, the fellow I met on Instagram that's doing the digital sculpting for Witcher oh, season yeah. two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Awesome. Yeah, and he's working on a couple other projects too, which is really cool. It's like I'm, I'm glad you're working. That's cool, and it's it's exciting to me, even though it's just through message chat to get to talk to someone who's actually working on productions because. Yeah. My production is to imitate the stuff that you guys are doing. So that's that's really fun and cool to me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 I love your work. All right. I love the show. Love it's the show. It's a good show. Haven't printed the, he, he sent me the, the bust, right? As I mentioned oh. last week. Haven't, haven't had a chance to pull the printer down because. You're still building that room. Still building that room. It's in almost the shops. there. Yeah, and it hasn't been touched in a week. Um, you're still behind, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it'll get printed. You guys will see it on the live stream when it gets printed. It'll get printed as soon as I can. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do these as two separate pieces and then we can rivet it. Okay. That way we'll be able to adjust the size for fitting multiple sizes over only one person. <gasps> Let's see what people are saying. Please do. Hello from the Netherlands. Sweet. Hello, Hello Netherlands. Hi, Odin. Hi, hey. man. Build Hello. thy roof. What was that? Build thy roof. Build thy roof. <laughs> is that the is that commands or is that uh, is that the username? No, that's the command. They, it's Armando DCC says build thy roof. Mondo, Armando DCC build thy roof. Okay. Okay. I don't think. Oh, did, did I need a roof? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's... Hi everyone. There's a lot of requests, which is cool. That is really cool. Yeah. I know we're not reading the requests out loud, but we do take note in. Yeah, I do. I do notice he, them. He saves them, holds them. Yeah, well, I can see the I can see the live replay. Yeah, just so you know, it's right. not in vain. No, it's not in vain. <laughs> it's and not it's, in vain. It's okay. It's, yeah. We do appreciate. He does. Yeah, it's just totally a uh, practicality thing. Hello from Mexico. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Mexico. He's wondering if you've ever made the holy hand grenade. And I feel so bad I talked you out of that. <laughs> I didn't talk you out of it. You didn't really talk me out of it, no. That's not so bad stuff. It feels like it's it's too flat, but we've got a weird... It's yeah, not... I see that. I see that. I was... A little heat. It's cold in here. Which one? No. Um, yeah, the yellow one. Probably. The yellow one? Okay. The yellow one will actually... Do something. Do something to the foam. Uh, Holy hand grenade of Antioch. So I was doing the uh, the Black Knight helmet, and originally I was planning on just doing the helmet and then doing the Holy hand grenade because I didn't think the helmet would be enough for a full video. Whoa, wow, for a full video. Um, well, Felicia got super excited because the Black Knight's got all sorts of chainmail and it's specifically knitted chainmail. So uh, the video went in a different direction. Holy hand grenade could still happen, you know. At any point, we could probably try doing one on a live stream if you wanted to. Right? So it's not the end of the world. It's yeah. more things to come, right? Exactly. So we do pay attention, right? No, I do, yeah. Yeah. I miss a lot, but I do tr do try my best to pay attention. There's so many props to build. There are so many props so to build. So many props so to build. So many new things coming out. <laughs> so many costumes, too little time. <laughs> it's coming for someone who did costumes for a living. Still does. Armando yeah. DCC says, "Love your Chihuahua and his blanket. I shall wait for thy holy hand grenade." Thanks. <laughs> Aww, Aww. Bruno's a little weeder dog. <laughs> it's all right. I know. They're, like he kind of does look like a Chihuahua, doesn't he? A little bit, but it's three. Yeah. They're they're chewing on each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't want them to blend in with the ground in the gray. So. Yeah, no, that's good. I'm glad you guys like their blanket. Hey, Odin. Hey, Felicia. Greetings from Egypt. Wow. wow hello. Hello. Hey, Egypt. How's the Good weather over there? Good evening to you. <laughs> Is that opposite side? Not quite right. Uh, not quite opposite sides. No, it's it's. Uh, Egypt should be what eight nine p.m. It shouldn't be that late. Yeah. Prop builds 
cats for the dogs? Well, I have before, but no. It's happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, happened. No, no plans right now. <laughs> yes. Oh. You guys have some good suggestions, but they will seem very ambitious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very ambitious. I've done some pretty ambitious builds. Mm -hmm. Starting another one. <laughs> yes, you are starting another one. How's that one going? Uh, I didn't sleep last night because I'm trying to get the script written, so uh, it's going great. <laughs> I'm living the Con Crunch dream. <laughs> Isn't that the life, though? All right, I only got a yard and a half, and I feel like I got way too much. Yeah, but it's 60 inches wide, right? Yeah. I did have a whole costume out of this. If you hold it up, we just pretend you're the monolith from 2001. Actually, the ratio is wrong. It should be, but, you know. Yeah. No, I was just trying to figure out how much I ended up actually buying. Oh, okay. <laughs> a yard and a half. Well, an inch under a yard and a half. Yeah. The remnant. It was the end of the bulk. So oh, okay. I was oh. going to get two yards, and now I'm going, why? It's just, yeah. You overbuy when you can. Yes, because I'd rather have... Too much than not enough, and trying to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> what are they saying? Oh, uh, jury, jury rig props. First off, something I'll say out loud is no need for an apology. Sup, Nicole? Uh, which I'm sure Nicole saw that. And then, uh, spoiler alert question we're asking if it was one person or a different person at the end of Mando Chapter 9. Um, I'm not sure. Um, right now, I would say between the choices you gave me, I would I would take choice number one. Uh, but because um, I, I don't see why things would have ended up differently otherwise. Um, but with the way the story goes, I don't know. Because there's there was hints of the, of of this character appearing the last time they were on on on, on that planet, right? Um, because, um, there was a weird little thing, again, at the very end of the episode, with a sound effect to hint to which character it should have been. So, it's probably choice number two, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually, I'm trying to talk around the spoiler, which is crappy, but, um, I actually enjoy... When I can get into a story and I just let it play out and I'm not trying to second guess it, I really enjoy stories more that way. Uh, when I do start second guessing them, it isn't always a sign that the story isn't so good, but I'm not so wrapped up in watching the story that I'm actively second guessing it, if that makes any sense. So, <laughs> does it? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. I don't mind spoilers. Okay. I feel like sometimes it helps me emotionally come to terms with the endings before we get there. <laughs> Especially if they're less than stellar. Fair enough, yeah. Just uh, saying, I've, I don't mind them. I am not a against spoilers person, and I know I'm in the minority on that one. I'm wishy-washy on it. Uh, something I'm excited to see, and I really want to watch it play out, I don't want spoilers. Something that I'm not as involved in, I don't care. <laughs> uh, this is one where I'd rather watch it play out. Uh, yeah, I don't know how else to put that. No, it makes sense. Just, this is like the weirdest way to cut fabric on this awkwardly tall table <laughs> that's not quite <laughs> wide enough <laughs> to not have it hang off the edge. Okay. Don't cut fabric with it hanging off the edge. I will try and... Yeah, it weighs a lot. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's balanced on both sides and oh. I'll do it. Yeah, but it is for now. It won't be once you get cut. <laughs> It'll start doing this. <laughs> don't <laughs> cut fabric when it's hanging off the edge. We made it. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Just trying to get it into a more manageable chunks. Sure. Because, you know, we don't prep anything. You know, this will, no, we don't. I'm sure this will work, but right now it's like, mm, I cringe when I'm looking at it. Okay, well, we're going to put a little layer of frosting over the top. Right. And then it'll go a whole bunch of accoutrement, accout, accout, yeah, stuff on top of it, and it'll be fine. <laughs> so, um, before we attach this, Mm -hmm. Do you have any buckles for right here? 
And then I also want to shape it before we glue it in. The neckline to make sure that it's low enough. Oh, right, right. Because we can always scoop it lower. It might need it. For shape and comfort of wearing. I did have a couple of small buckles. I know, I thought they were right like there. They were not in the box? Well, we never actually put them in the box because oh, I never okay. pulled them. Of course we didn't. No, that would just make sense. Okay, we have greetings from Israel. 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 BTW is the COVID and staying at home making you build more or less. Initially more, and then less. <laughs> How about you? Um, since October of last year, when I went full time on YouTube, I was kind of s not quite stay at home, but I was kind of stay at shop already, and I was already trying to build one a week. So I don't think it changed much. Are those too small? No, those are the perfect size. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, they might be a little on the big size, but that's... Dark. Jeez, you guys. They're having... They're they very, very vocal today. The boom mic picks up the dogs better than you guys, LOL. The dogs are louder and sharper, yeah, so I'm sorry. They are rambunctious today. Yeah, Bruno's very rambunctious today. He is just on it today. I wish I had what he was having. Oh, looks like he's having a healthy snack of uh, Toby right now. Apparently, like, <laughs> poor Toby. Chewing on him. Okay, so, got buckles. We need to make little strips for the buckles. We also have to try out, see if the neckline fits comfortably. Right, okay. And <laughs> shoulders. Let me Details. go get Thorky Lee's dress form that I named Kevin because it just seems like a Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Thorky Lee's. Okay. There is a discussion happening between uh, Nicole and Jerry in, 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 uh, in the Discord, and uh, they're hashing out the possibility of who it is and have some really good, good, really good points going on. So, anyway, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Acknowledging it, but still trying to talk in code for whoever hasn't seen it, including one person, Joe, who's nice enough to walk through the building and, and paint. He hasn't seen it yet, so. <laughs> okay. So, for comfort where this thing lands see this right here that needs to be a neckline yeah okay that's right where you started your dart so that we're literally cutting off your dart i don't care all that work of trying to figure that that's fine <laughs> but i think right there is the perfect spot okay and then it's going to hit him hit him right, right. at the plexus or so yep and a little then below it okay and we're going to do the bottom girdle <laughs> i can't think of a better word just right oh. up to here they okay go, so they'll overlap right gotcha. in this area okay so. Oh, cool. Kind of figure out where we're going, where we are before we. Right. So. This is. So this is the low. How far? How far in do we want to go? What do you mean? Um, I understand that this is. This, we want to come down to here. Oh, we we'll just blend it, it back up to the shoulder line. Back up line. to the, this line here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if. You we, want a pen? You want a pencil? I'll use a pencil because then I can do it on multiple. And then... Hey, it's canned tuna. How's it going? I haven't been able to watch the last two streams, but I'm back! And I've been making a pyramid head costume for Halloween. Sweet. Haven't finished it yet, but I'm glad I didn't rush. <laughs> You'll be set for next Halloween. I know. This Halloween was a little bit of a bust. It's a little bit weird, yeah. You know. How does that look to you? That looks good. That yeah. does. That looks like a better shape than what I had on there. but. No, I know. We just had the highest shape we could work with because you can it's always true. trim down. Right. It's much harder to trim up. <laughs> yeah, you can't add to a neckline, but you can always trim a neckline down. So I right. think this is where it needs to be. I'll let you cut it, though, because okay. I trust you're cutting better than mine on this medium. Yeah. And the shoulder lines, I think lacing them will be perfect because they are right at that shoulder line. There's no ease. There's no ease. Okay. You know? Right. I, I think lacing. Just, just lacing them. Cool. Although we could add that extra piece, I just don't trust. We can get the extra we need by relaxing the laces. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Totally cool. All for it. Cool. The dog has names. Who was saying this? Um, well, Shay, Venus, uh, you're welcome. Saying that Toby, Odin and, and Felicia, you're the best. No! Don't chew the blanket! Bruno. I thought I heard uh, uh, Velcro happening. No! And then Bobby J was asking the doggos are very cute. What are their names? Well, um, Bruno's now the naked one, and uh, Toby still has his jammies on. How did he get out of his jammies? <laughs> That. You didn't notice that? No. He had jammies and yeah, now I, he I, doesn't. I just heard it a minute ago. I heard the Velcro going, so. <laughs> Toby really does like wearing clothes. Bruno does not. Does not yeah. And if I put clothes on Bruno and not Toby, Toby will take them off Bruno. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I had dust on this. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. The back, I don't have to worry about any extra buckles or lacing no so i can just get this started to get in cover yeah um I do you want to do you want to paint with this do you want to spray glue do you want to spray glue would give me a more over cover but i feel like i get a better job with you get a better job and more control yes yeah. with that put these to the side got uh hi guys from york england oh sweet it's the old York. Yeah, it's well, it's the original York. <laughs> is it the original York, though? Well, I don't know if it's the original York, all right, but know. it's certainly not New York. I'm sure New York is, was named because of York. <laughs> uh, and then anybody who wants to quote, you know, Futurama at this point is welcome to. <laughs> Bobby J says, Toy Frisman, this is a behind the scenes kind of. Pretty much. Kind, kind of? of? Yeah. yeah. This, this is an in progress with a lot of talking to, to you guys, which honestly is the best part of a live stream. And um, yeah, getting to hang out with Felicia every week. Yeah, because we used to, when I would come and bug you in your workshop all the time. Right. Hey, Odin, I need this thing for this weird gag. For this weird gag coming up. Yeah. So for the three of you who don't know in, in, in the chat currently, uh, Felicia and I used to work together on another YouTube channel called Smosh. Uh, they used to shoot in the town that we're in now, Sacramento, California. Uh, I was art department and she was wardrobe. Um, and um, We often yeah. had to work together a lot and I got into your stuff because you had stuff I didn't have and I had stuff you didn't have. Right. <laughs> so it's, it's always like, hey, yo. It's a weird occasion. It's like, I need to do this thing. I need to set up this rig for Brittany's breasts to inflate on command. Can yeah. I get some help with the Yeah. I was going to say, like, <laughs> I was thinking the other day of how often we had to have boner gags that we had, like, right? a kit for it, and was it a prop or was it a costume? So was, were they wearing it? Yeah, were they wearing it? <laughs> or was, was it, it part the of the costume? Set? Uh, I think my favorite one still was was the uh, when Aquaman suddenly got a un uncomfortable boner uh, yeah. looking at National Geographic with dolphins in it, and um, startled stood up. The, the actual boner was made out of a piece of, of, of pipe, and we put magnets in in the spine of the National Geographic so he could stand up and drop it, and it would just stick, <laughs> just you, hang and stuck yeah, on. Yeah, because I remember we had that's one of those weird gags we had to work together because yeah. we needed to make sure we had the pants that worked. The pants had to work. He ordered two sets of pants. So he had enough to fit on Anthony and enough to fit on the boner. Yes, and then <laughs> hold another pair of pants just for the boner. Try the magnets. I remember doing this like awkwardly at the like. The night before, trying to figure out, is this even going to work? <laughs> Meanwhile, those Aquaman armor was... Oh, the Aquaman. Oh, yeah. I didn't have enough time to actually get... Anyways, that was <laughs> old armor from the costume shop. Held right. together, barely sticking together. Barely sticking together. And then still had to make that practical work, but, you know. Right. So, anyways. Good times, right? Great times. <laughs> Especially now that we can look back on it. Because it's... Past and done. <laughs> you know, things happen so fast that I yeah. never get the chance to just laugh or, you know, like right. appreciate as they're happening. One of the biggest problems working at that pace, and I'm doing it to myself a little bit with trying to get my current project done, is what she's saying. You don't get a chance to laugh and look at what you've done. You're stressed about getting what you need to get done that is going to work the moment you need it. Then you use it, and then you got to get it the heck off set because they need to move <laughs> on to the, the next, next shot one. in five minutes. And and yeah, uh, and then and then you're doing that. You're laying the track down in front of the oncoming train. So yeah, it is fun to talk about it after the fact, where we've got years of padding, yeah. <laughs> and and don't remember the the some of the rage induced stress. There wasn't a lot of rage, but there was. It was always 
there was always the awkward um, when, like, the director would look at it, or or when the guys would show up and look at it, and it, and even though in the script they would specifically ask for something, this is the guys, right, uh, Ian and Anthony, but they. They would want something that would be a name brand to work with a specific joke. This was the Chips Ghost. But doing a sponsored program or a program where you could potentially get sponsors, you can't use named products. Or at least you really shouldn't. For the most part, Smosh didn't because they were big enough they didn't want to imply sponsorship. They had enough people giving them issues that they just don't want this issue anymore. There you go. So I had to create 17 different chips, uh, 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 bag, bag chip labels that would work within the script, but weren't Doritos, weren't Cheetos, weren't Pirate's Gold, weren't Pirate's Booty. They all had to be slightly different, but sound rights, the jokes would work. And then the guys show up after, you know, Lindsay and I spend like a week putting this stuff together. Well, where's the chips? These are wrong. <laughs> they had to explain to them, no, this is the way it has to be. And then, you know, there's the occasion that, which I know you ran into, ran into as well, where the the director would show up day of, and uh, huh, huh. You know, if you'd spent a little more time on this, it probably would have been good. <laughs> I worked forty hours in the last two days. <laughs> you know, I couldn't be that bad because although there were times where I'd be like, you know, I have this planned for that, but then we're sitting there and I look at it on camera and go, you know what? change it yeah <laughs> and I do. right you kind of just gotta just gotta go with it yeah, yeah let yeah. it be what it's gonna be sometimes but yeah and, and sometimes sometimes the art department we could change it oftentimes we couldn't yeah <laughs> it's like, it is what it's it gonna is. take hours to change do you want it like this or not <laughs> but then on occasion dead. you would get uh, you would get a home run and that'd be really cool and it'll work out really well yeah and actually probably that happened more often than not but unfortunately you remember the negative more well, maybe not, but it seems like the <laughs> negative is easier to remember. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes it's just so much happens, you just gotta appreciate it. Like, even post Smosh, all those other things, like, yeah. I just have to go look back and it's like, oh yeah, I did that commercial and this right. and that, and it's. Music videos and commercials and, and, and yeah. All those weird side projects. Hey, yo, Odin, I need you to help me right. hang millions of yards of fabric. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Jaden L. Yes, this is the Discord chat for the live stream. <laughs> Ooh, Toby. Yeah. I still can't see my marks, but I can have oh. an idea of where I'm at, so I'm okay. Um, is this one gonna help? Yeah, but I have an idea. Well, if you got an idea, then. Yeah. You got an idea for the next one. Right. I'll do the other one better. So you got it on this. You don't have anything on this yet, right? No, okay. I'm just going to paint a little bit over paint. Cool. So it doesn't have to be perfect. No, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, Bobby J, I must go now. Bye. Oh. Bye, Bye Bobby J. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Aw, poor Odin. Rest in peace, Chips. Chips. <laughs> I did enjoy Chips Ghost, though. Chips Ghost is a good episode. It really is. It was just that one weird, awkward thing where... You know, you as art department, you look at the script going, we can't just use these chips. We have to make all this stuff. And then first thing on the set is a complaint. It's like, really? <laughs> That's okay. I like that they had that Miss Frizzle episode, and I got this crazy idea, you know? Right. The Miss Frizzle is a great episode. I love that episode. I'm like, Miss Frizzle always does her outfits based on what she's about yeah she's having a psychotic breakdown can I make her dress look like she's having a psychotic breakdown it was great I remember the director <laughs> just looking at me going can you draw me a picture <laughs> I still have that picture oh that's good yeah no I had angry uteruses and so I they were not anatomically correct because I was trying to make them angry in the picture right 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 <laughs> <laughs> they didn't end up quite looking as angry as they did in the picture but I, I really did enjoy that and it's one of those ones of I didn't know what you were talking about but <laughs> right. This works. Know. Right? <laughs> yeah. The little things. And then it wasn't till like much after that episode ever aired that I just got to appreciate. I'm like, I love the Miss Frizzle dress. Yeah, the Miss Frizzle dress was great. She, my favorite. I love Miss Frizzle. I still like the Magic School Bus. Got a hi, Odin. I'm from Arizona. 
Hello to Arizona. And Whitby, Ontario. South Texas, UK. That's there's a comment. Three different people. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Three different places. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't take a breath. But very diverse. Very diverse. Very which diverse. Is awesome. <laughs> awesome. I think that's amazing. And then Bruce Marvel eighty eight says, Hey Felicia, if you got to be a movie and you got to pick, would you play a hero or a villain? I would want to be start off as a villain and then have that hero arc where you know. Oh, you want you want the the redemption story. Redemption story, yeah. yeah okay, because gotcha. villains I feel like have more character, and you really like if you can really love to hate someone mm -hmm. and then love to love them. Right. You know, wrestling in the '90s. You know, go from being a bad guy to yes. the good guy. Go from being the heel to the hero, or what? It was a yeah. heel to the it's hero, right? Is that so they call it? I guess, yeah. I can't quite remember. Anyway. Yeah, but, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin going right. from the bad guy to the good guy to, you know, like... Right. You just got to keep being good and, people, you know, like, mm -hmm. going forward. Anyway, so I think I would want to start off as a villain. Okay. And then be... Move towards and a hero towards arc. Being a hero arc. Personally. Sure. If I got to choose. It seems like playing the villain would be more fun. Generally speaking, because the stereotypes, you know, I'm immediately thinking of superhero villains, science fiction villains, you know, megalomaniac villains. That, that would be that would be more fun. So, um, yeah. Now, at the same time, would I want to just be a serial killer? Probably not. I'm not big into hurting people, so I don't think I'd want to pretend to hurt people. <laughs> Which is weird. I make props, but it's just not a thing. <laughs> physically abusive you could be oh for sure yeah yeah you could be all sorts of crazy there's lots right. of crazies there's lots of crazies there is okay seeing lots of hearts yeah i have my glasses off so i can't quite read the the youtube chat please reply me sir love from india ah. love from india those right. hearts are for love from, from india love from india Thank hello you. india i feel loved i appreciate it it's awesome. So we've got. Do you want to read the chat while I'm painting over here on the side since I'm blocking? Sure. <laughs> here, can you kick my platform over so I'm not so short? Thank you. I'll just huff the paint. No, no, I won't. <laughs> Move the buckle just a little bit. Alrighty. Eric Vincent says, I told my 15-year-old son that the Mandalorian has a sweet costume. And he very quickly let me know that, no, it's armor, Dad. <laughs> uh, those nerds. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like people get offended by the word costume. But that's the word that people use. Like, yeah. even in different languages, it's your, cos it's it's your, your costume. Co if like, your clothes are your costume. Yeah, so. they are. I, I, I had a pleasant argument once with a friend. Um, if you're putting on dress slacks and a dress shirt and a tie to go to work, but you wouldn't normally wear it, it's a costume, and you're going to a place to wear it. <laughs> it is not normal dress. It's not people work, it's think a costume it's normal party. Because it's what you wear every day, but it's a costume. <laughs> Doing characters and dressing people up in the same uh, outfits, but being different characters, you it is a costume. It is a costume. Uh, Lone Eagle was chiming in with correcting me with my wrestling terminology, which I appreciate. All of my experience with wrestling terminology comes from working on one show for Beyond Geek. But uh, what I was looking for was the terms the heel to the face. So the heel being the villain in wrestling and the face being the hero of there wrestling. There you go. Okay. So it's going for the heel to the face. I wasn't 100% sure what you are saying. I just right. wasn't Do I was like, yeah. I... Uh, there was, um... Like, I remember uh, watching it, but I don't remember being that vested. Right. But I can appreciate how people could go com from complete villains to the hero. Right. And For sure. I, I like that people can be that forgiving. You know, if you give feed them the story, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. Give them a reason to, to root for them. Right? The underdog. Cantuna. And who makes? Where can I send the photos when it's finished? This is the uh, Pyramid Head costume. Uh, just shoot me a private message on Instagram. That's probably the easiest. Um, I have a Facebook group called Odin's Makers. I'll be honest, I only poke my head into that group maybe weekly. So you could you could post it there and everyone can see it easily. Um, or if uh, you're on the Discord, you can always... You're on the Discord. Uh, I don't think Cantoon is on the Discord. Oh, okay. Um, well, the, that's uh, awesome. There is r slash Odin Makes. There's, there's a, a Reddit channel. And uh, actually, I do check on that fairly regularly. 
there's no activity, so it, it's easy to check on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that's another place you could post uh, post pictures. Yeah. That's also public. I see someone says work uniform equals costume. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, kind of does. Someone's yeah. saying I'm getting old. Yeah, yeah, I am. We're all getting old. It We're means you're old. winning. Right. I'm not quite sure uh, what the context is. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Technically the truth. Ah. Uh, lighter icing? I don't know. Lighter icing. You guys are wholesome. Good luck. And uh, with all the future projects. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that guy claims that it, it could be a fun... He says you, I'm going to be narcissistic and assume that you're talking to me. Uh, it would be a fun superhero like Gru from This Fickle of Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I said dart gun. Dart gun. <laughs> <laughs> Toby. <laughs> Heart gun, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Quiet Six Ten says, whenever I hear uh, heel to the face, I hear boot to the head. <laughs> so I am an old school Doctor Demento radio show listener, which probably doesn't mean much to most of you anymore. But totally, yeah, boot to the head. <laughs> now, boot to the head. It's face fist to face technique or face to fist technique. <laughs> face to fist technique, yeah. <laughs> Kung Fu, okay. Yeah, Kung Fury. Kung Fury. Well, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, no, it's okay. I'm just making sure I, I've seen Kung Fury, but I don't have it memorized. No, I just remember that one. Ah, oh, it's face to fist technique. I see. <laughs> Lego Man twenty five ninety seven says hello from Scotland. Ooh, hello. In and Scotland. says, can I be cheeky and ask how both how old both of you are? Sure. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, combined we are eighty three. Nice. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amani Lipscomb, how many props y'all made from Odin? So, oh, that actually isn't addressed to me, I think. This might be asking all of you. So, uh, if you're in the chat and you have any interest in, in responding to uh, Amari, um, how many props have y'all made that was originally featured on my channel? Or, or heck, let's say Smosh or, or DIY Prop Shop. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go ahead and... Blanket that as much as we can, because I doubt any of you have made props from Beyond Geek. I've stolen your props. Yes, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see that uh, Discord, I didn't quite catch the name, but someone was saying that take a lot of the props and create my own super villain <laughs> with a lot of the weird props that I've got. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, yeah. That's ready. This has this a little bit more patches yeah. to... And I think I'm going to go slightly over the edge, and then I think we'll... <laughs> right. This one should be a little bit easier because it's mostly flat. Well, I'm gonna this could tent, so it's going to be a little harder to make sure that we we don't stretch it. Yeah. It's still a little... It's not that bad. Honestly, it's really not going to be that bad because if we yeah. start with here and then we... Okay, yeah. It's kind of like frosting a cake. You, you really fondant. just need to, like... Smooth and squish, right. and the cold weather doesn't help. The warm weather would be easier because the would. stuff will melt. Well, That's bothering me, but the heat will get that out. Yeah, you can steam that out. This is uh, it got folded at one point or something. Yeah. Oh, um, if you nails? have crease lines in your vinyl and Are you, you need chewing... to, he's biting his toenails. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> okay, you can bite your toenails. They're definitely yours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> across the room, I was like, "Wow." All right. So, but um, what I'm saying about vinyl is, if you get like these weird lines or these creases, you can take a steamer and it'll steam right out. Okay. Like so, if yeah, somebody, it's... the fabric store, the lady was like, "Oh no!" About folding the vinyl, she was so worried about like permanent creases, and I appreciate her so much. Thank you right. for giving a crap about my fabrics. Yes. You know? <laughs> but steamer. Okay. Just a steamer on the back. It'll take care of it. Don't use a hot iron. Iron's no. going to melt the surface. Just keep right. it away from it. It's not worth it. What about a hair dryer? Is that, too, is that too direct? It's the steam. It's the moisture that's going to get it. It's the moisture? In. It's the moisture. On the, on, the, on the plastic, it's the moisture. It's that's the, amazing. The, the back, it's the moisture that okay. does the difference. It's not the heat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah, we would take 
the um, even the foam, like the superhero foam muscles. Yeah. You know how it's pre-sculpted six packs. Right. And those get creases in them. Yeah, they always get wadded up into the plastic bags. And they look like crap. Yeah. A steamer fixes that. Okay. Like you just steam. Okay. It's your friend. So if All we right. have any of those weird marks, they are not the end of the world. You want this one? Yes, I want that one. Mark Knight, what the heck are you making? Laugh out loud. We're making a cake! Uh, what we're working on is um, the, the basic vanilla armor from the Witcher video game. So we're trying to make the initial starting armor. The whole project started because I got a package of uh, the, the foam chain mail from Ben Eady. This is a foam armory. Uh, online, you've probably seen the chainmail on Tested. Uh, William Shakespeare and his channel did an Arthur, uh, Arthur helmet from uh, Holy Grail, and it's been and has appeared in a couple of other channels. Um, I didn't specifically think about what I wanted to do with with the chainmail when I got it from Ben, uh, which I was grateful he sent me some. But I'm always trying to do a goal, uh, a particular prop on my show. I don't want to just go, "Hey, I got this thing," and, and quickly make a video. I probably should, but it's just not what I set out to do. So she it. said, hey, let's do this because it looks like we have enough chain mail for one package to be able to do the Witcher armor because one package wasn't going to give enough to do like a full shirt. Um, we then wasted some figuring out how it worked and I have since ordered more so we've actually got more coming. Uh, <laughs> but we, we, we committed to doing the Witcher armor because it sounded like fun and the live stream became a great place to do it. Yeah. So. Uh, something we've said uh, often. So the story is, I geeked out over seeing that okay. stuff, and you got some, and I was like, "Hey, Odin." That's right. She did geek out over. She saw this stuff. Did you see this stuff? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. You did. And and part of the geeking out was uh, Adam had asked Ben, "Hey, do you have you made a chainmail shirt out of this?" And and Ben's kind of had a reaction of, "I don't know how." <laughs> At least the, kind of. He didn't say that outright. He didn't but, say that outright. Good for him. But the thing is, it's like. Oh, yeah. I, know. Please, I know, I know, I know. I want to play it. with that stuff. I want to try it. And I was trying to figure out how I could get my hands on some. And you had it. And I'm like, really? Right. I didn't get it immediately. We, we talked for a couple of, well, weeks or months about, uh, this is the very beginning of the pandemic, too. Yeah. We were talking about getting out to American River College, which yeah. you took that sweatshirt off. Yeah, I had that uh, Because they have a maker space with a large laser cutter. Because Ben had released his template for making the chain mail. So we could take a piece of foam to the laser cutter and, and just get some foam uh, cut out. But then it became a question of what type of foam do we want to use? Because I didn't want to just use the really lightweight craft foam, although that's the easiest to get because a hold of. Because ultimately, I was originally trying to make a full chainmail shirt for you. Yeah. And I right. wanted to make it your size. And, and, I... and then it needed to support itself, yeah. which the foam still probably would, but we were just had... And then, um, like, what the foam would, was the perfect answer, except it's red. The two millimeters, all available only in red. I have since uh, talked to Skylar and try tried to put a bug in his ear. We really need black in the two mil because red isn't an ideal color. <laughs> no, it's great and all, but... Yeah, it's great. Can I just have the right colors to start with? Because right. sometimes that's why I buy that sheet of pink. Yeah. You know? Uh, the, the, what the foam has color coded sizes, which is fantastic, especially as someone who makes instructional videos, because it's very clear what size I'm using. If it's red, it's two mil. If it's black, it's four mil. If it's gray, it's six mil. Done. There's, there's no other options. You have to paint the freaking red. <laughs> and if you want to paint it white or yellow, which is the first two projects that it did with it, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> But anyway, so we talked about that, and then uh, lo and behold, Ben, out of the blue, first talked to Skylar, and then called me, and and we talked, and he sent me some chain mail that we actually got to play with. So uh, that, there we are. So a long, making a long story long, <laughs> this is looking good. Yeah, I kind of want to just let it sit for a second before I start slicing up the edges. Yeah, you probably do. Is it? Yeah, it's a bubble I okay. worked out. But then when I put it on the other side, it re-puts them on. Because if I flip it this way, and then go this way, it... it, it they they kind of come back. Okay. Yeah, they kind of come back. So I just kind of want to let it sit this way. All right. I wonder if um, on the chest we should paint the, the, the foam, the foam, paint the vinyl, spray the foam really quick to kind of reactivate it a little bit, and then stick it together. Yeah, because I actually kind of like using a wet... Um, if you want to put it on wet, we can put it on wet. It takes longer to dry, it but does. you can really <laughs> mush it. If that mushing is a technical term, you know. Uh, mushing is a totally technical term. 
Yeah. Yeah, mooshing it. <laughs> but I want to let this dry for a second before we... Tr okay. You know. Um, I'll just throw it over here. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, there is that one little bubble spot that it pops up every time. Right. I move it. That'll be good. Okay. So is this one ready to get painted? Um, yeah. Because <laughs> this is done, right? It's as done as it's going to get. As it's going to get, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was fighting with it. And it's So what the foam is fantastic because it's really strong. What the foam doesn't have mushability because um, it's really strong. So um, this, whereas on a normal foam project, being an eighth of an inch off, you could totally just mash that and hide it. But we're going to hide it with fabric, so we're still hiding yeah. it. Yeah, it's connected in the back. It's just got a, a void here. I could cut out a sliver and stick it in there if you want. I was just thinking, you know that foam clay stuff you had? We can do that. Because you could just squish it and then, and it would just. Yeah, it. Um, do you want to do that before we get going on it? We can. Um, it'll still eventually dry because much like everything else, you start covering it up. That's an air dry clay. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right. And this is kind of. None not of this the is permeable. No. Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea, but. It's not a bad idea. It's just. Uh, it'll take a week to dry. <laughs> you have to keep the air dry clay in a bag in its plastic container or else it'll dry out. So, I mean, it, you know, yeah. it'll dry. It's just going to, it might be, yeah, we, taking a little bit. Okay. Probably be so done by next week. Well, in that case, I'm just going to start painting this. Wow. I'm way behind on, on keeping up with uh, the Discord. Discord chat. we got Jaden and, and, and Nicole. Oh, and no one special's new. Uh... Oh, they're all talking about the other ones here. Let me see if that's really going to be noticeable, because it might actually be. And that's center front. Oh, no, it's not going to get into that. Even if I wanted it to, it couldn't. But there It's about to answer if I got distracted. Yep. <laughs> then Nicole just like, ah, one hour in. Actually, she wrote a different word. But... Uh, <laughs> No worries, we're all just chatting. Uh, no, I'm not officially a Mandalorian. I have not uh, joined the ranks of the Mandalorian. The 500 of the first or the 405th, uh, I haven't done done any of that. Um, I've made a helmet for myself out of foam. Uh, and I've made the... Uh, I can't remember what the, the gun's called now. It had a special name that was good to use because it didn't say gun. But the, the fort gun from the holiday special that the Mandalorian used, it still has, but he hasn't really used in the second season yet, I don't think. And, um, no, he did. He used it in the first episode. Um, yeah. I made stuff. What's up? So, believe it or not, this gash you don't notice, but these little bumps you do. Okay. Because it's not going to get into that gash, but it is going to notice gonna... these bumps. Okay. And I was just... Just checking on that. All wondering right. Wondering what the easiest way to get those little lumps off. Sure. I was um, going to cut them off, but well, then... Cut them off, that's pretty much it. Uh, we can cut them off. We can... Um, and it's these can ones right a... here, and it's not so much this, but it's center these front. These guys, center front is, is Right, is in where we're going to be staring All right. at his lovely chest. I'm going to use the Dremel, because high-pitched whiny sounds is the best thing to use with microphones. Right, right here, so you right guys here. can hear. Yep. Let me just get right up in there. Where's the bullet-shaped one? Oh, this is... Okay, let's this. see. Godzilla armor. What other armor are you considering building after this? And will Felicia join in? Felicia's welcome to join in on any armor build that she wants to. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I don't have a 100% plan on what armor I'm going to do next. Still thinking in Godzilla here. I'm still very much in Godzilla mode. Godzilla. Uh, we <laughs> talked about doing like a Zaku because we got a Gundam, so all the Gundam fans want a Zaku. Um, I'm not Their sure. Ears. <laughs> What's that? Their ears. Their ears. 
Sorry. Right there, pointed at this. <laughs> it's an Omni mic. I can't go anywhere. Good viewing. Witcher 2 is coming very soon. I'm actually really excited about that. Yeah. I did get into Witcher. Okay. Oh, that's good. Good enough? Yep. Okay. Like I said, it doesn't get into the um, holes, but it does right. notice the raised bubbles. Raised proud areas, okay. Yeah, so those will be no more noticeable than the... Sorry, I'm kind of very quick and dirty putting stuff together. Okay. Oh, look at Toby. Oh, there's his pajamas. <laughs> Headphones, rest in peace. Headphones, sorry. Rest in peace. I'm sorry, guys. Crafting can be noisy. I'm just going to start painting this whole thing. Well, something that's not fair is the microphone we have is not a noise-canceling microphone. It's just, it picks up everything and amplifies it like the classic microphone should. Which is good from what we're talking, but, um, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, you guys' ears. Sorry, ears. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, uh, earbuds. Probably want to dust that off before you... Put it on. Right. Oh, yeah, you have all of the stuff right where you need it. Try to. I kind of work in one triangle for most of the time. <laughs> There's even a vacuum behind you if you want to turn on another electric motor. Not yet. <laughs> Just want to get this. Whoops. Oops. No one's going to see it. Oh, okay. I drew a line. I was just thinking whoops because I already stepped on uh, Bruno. I know, Bruno, he's asking to go to the bathroom. <laughs> was that what he's asking for? Yeah, but he'll be fine. All right. He went right before we started. You paid attention. Now he's like, oh, no. <laughs> you died. And, and you thought the tremble was bad. <laughs> oh, we got to talk. Robocop would be awesome, uh, pig six. No, you can't be up on the fabric. Sorry, buddy. Great. They were, just, they were just talking away about what they're talking away. Having a good conversation? I'm glad. <laughs> Artem Glue says Odin's signature villain move the sonic drumble screech. <laughs> uh, Ryan King is asking Hey Odin, love your workspace. How big is it? Well, I'm going to assume that's that's one complete thought and not like take it to a high school type of humor. Um, my workspace is actually pretty big. I've got uh, it's about 20 feet wide and it's about 30 feet going that direction. So from this wall to that wall behind the camera is 20 feet, and from this wall here to the far side of the room is about 30 feet, and then I have a, a pretty good ceiling. It starts out at about 14, 16 on this end, and goes up to 22 way over here. So I've got a pretty big space, and I'm very happy about that. And then in addition to this, I've got a little office upstairs that has my computer in it for editing. So um, I've got a pretty good workspace. Yeah, and uh, if you guys want to see it, we did the tour for we, the Halloween special. Yeah, we did the tour for the Halloween special. So if you look in the, uh, that should be listed with the rest of the live streams, and it's right off the bat, right in the very beginning. So it's not like you got to slog through two more horrible hours of live streams. Uh, to see the tour, but it's 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 right there, and uh, show off the full the the full building, and you get a little more look at the space. One of the upcoming live streams, uh, once I have a laptop set up here again, uh, we'll try and do another one during a Monday live stream where we can actually walk around the room a little bit more, and yeah, maybe look at some some of the junk that's in the corners. And I'll try to pick up a little bit before I have company over, because <laughs> right now it's piles everywhere. <laughs> Oh, thanks, John Kennedy. Listening to Odin make while cleaning house is so relaxing. It's awesome. Thank you. Especially when he drummels. <laughs> Especially when he drummels. Okay, I, I am going to jump. There's, there, there got discussions over what type of armor is happening in, in the thing, right? Yeah. I'm seeing that. 
Um, and Dan does junk. Talks about the uh, Ronin warrior or samurai trooper would be really, really sick as, as an armor type to make. Go ahead and Google uh, Samurai Brazil. So in the 80s, there's a movie called Brazil that uh, Terry Gilliam of, of Monty Python actually uh, made, uh, starring Jonathan Price. And very artsy, weird, fun movie. Certainly one of my favorite movies. In it, the, the main character has a reoccurring dream where he's being kind of terrorized by this giant technological samurai whose armor is made of circuit boards. That would be and a really good way to do samurai yeah. armor. Yeah, and it looks really good. <laughs> I made it out of those Home Depot buckets once. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Home Depot buckets, doe skin fabric dripped in glue over our plastic things that we use for rivets. Okay. Anyways, but yes. Yes. Circuit boards sound awesome, but... <laughs> I saw a uh, Sith Samurai Warrior at the last uh, SACCON uh, swap meet, just like last month. He looked really good. He's actually one of the vendors. He had his own table, but nice. super shiny black Sith Samurai armor. I, Not, so I guess I guess a Sith Trooper would be red. So Vader, because it was black. So okay. maybe saying Sith is wrong. I don't know. Yeah. I just, I have an appreciation for Samurai armor. That stuff, I wasn't expecting it to be quite what it was. It's complicated. But it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I can appreciate the workmanship. And like I said, I built it out of... Five-gallon oh. buckets from Home Depot. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> hey, I feel like it was some legit armor. By the time it was done, it could take a punch. could take a punch. Yeah. I think the only thing I've made specifically out of five-gallon buckets uh, was an astronaut suit. And what I did, it was actually an idea from another friend, but um, <laughs> I took a barking dog and I cut the neck off. Uh, I took a five-gallon bucket and I cut the neck off. And... The two of them nest into each other very easily, right? So I attached the helmet to one and I attached the, the other neck to the suit. And that okay. became how the helmet came off and would reattach easily. Because the two buckets would just nest into each other. And you have all that weird stuff in the edge of the bucket that just looked like the edges of the suit. That makes a lot of sense. Do you mind? I'm going to take oh, him out to go you, to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. I think somebody else is jealous. <laughs> Uh, see somebody talking about making a rack to see all of my weapons. I've got, well, yeah, there's, there's some that climb up the wall over here. Uh, should probably do that on a live stream. That takes the a secondary, uh, a hookup. Um, but not all, not all my weapons are on display. Uh, I've got some that are kind of piled and then some are, um, some have found new homes. I've got a couple that are out with other cosplayers. So, yeah, no, a, a rack would be nice though. Yes, Vizoc says, uh, Felicia's eyes really lit up when I mentioned circuit ports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they did. And I really like that samurai. I always did. I always thought it was a great look. And what's nice is when you watch the movie, it's not blatantly obvious. I mean, it is. Once you see what it is, it's obvious. But it wasn't like this hitting you over the head on the circuit board when you're watching the movie. It was It was like, oh, wait a minute. Those circuit boards. It was, it was a really neat way the costume was done. I just love the look of Brazil anyway, because I like I like Terry Gilliam's directing style. I like his art style. I like the you know Time Bandits and and and, and Brazil and, and uh, Fisher King and all those are they're great. Baron Munchausen, Munchausen. I don't say that wrong. Uh, Dan does junk. Woof woof woof. Talking to Bruno. I'll try to remember to let Bruno know when he comes back in. <laughs> Not, not the best camera dog, Bruno. Uh, there's, there's the occasional dogs that come by and visit, and uh, Toby's great because Toby's mellow and Toby doesn't make noise, and, and, and Toby's a good camera dog. And there's another dog that comes by all the time by the name of Pearl, who is also a fantastic camera dog because she's totally happy to just sit at your feet, and 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 you know the worst she's gonna do is snore. Uh, <laughs> just another great camera dog. Bruno's a little too vocal, <laughs> in my opinion, but, you know, it's a live stream and fun, so Bruno's probably going to keep showing up, because the dogs are very much part of the show. Um, Mark Knight, yes, you're mentioning something. Shouldn't I be using breathing aids when I'm using barge cements? 
Um, the fact that I'm not using barge cement isn't a worthy thing to be arguing about. Uh, this is contact cement. Uh, I am indoors. And so, yeah, I should be using a breathing aid. Um, now that it's the winter, I don't have as much open ventilation as I did over the summer. The one thing you're not seeing, which is doesn't help at all, is that directly over my head, we've got a, a vent that's pumping in air from next door. Um, so I actually have a fresh stream of air that hits both of us right here and pushes the fumes out. Now, when there's a secondary exit, which when it's warmer, there's a secondary exit, then there's this path that the fumes go. Right now, that's not happening. It's it is building up and it is kind of kind of bad. Got, this is a I, lot more than you usually use. This is a lot more than we usually use. So just had somebody saying, shouldn't we be using it's like Yeah. Yeah, we should. Bruno, like I love you, but we are busy. He's not taking that as an answer. No, he's not. <laughs> um I forgot who it was. Dan does jump, says, woof, woof, woof. Bruno is speechless. <laughs> he gave you that look like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he is not taking this whole not paying attention to him thing. Yeah. No, he's, Bruno's very needy today. Very needy today. Are you needy? Just a it little is. bit? A little bit? Okay. Uh, actually, that's pretty weak right there. Hey, guys, go. Go ahead and look. Hello. Hello. Good boy, Toby. Good boy, Bruno. Mistake. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> okay. So anyways. I'll stop with that. <laughs> I'll start with it. Eric Vincent. So this isn't your home? I always thought it was your garage or something. It started Oddly, out. It started out. I, actually, I've never shot in my garage. I've edited your my garage. garage. It's so, well, um, right. When I was, so the previous set that I had in some of my older videos is a secondary building. It's a two car separate garage from the main house that I was actually renting for my friend Zot. Um, I saw that video the other day, actually. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Wow, that was. A year that ago. was this week. Yeah. So that was two years ago. For, exactly. For it's been a two year. Yeah. yeah. No, I saw that. Yeah. Um, Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, so that was that was actually a garage. At this point, no. Uh, I've got a set, and it wasn't specifically made to look like a garage, but I didn't try to make it not be a shop. Um, I wasn't. I don't. I wasn't trying to lie to anybody. I wasn't trying to like pretend I was in a garage. It well, was just even this when is you the were space. In the back of Smosh, you were in just kind of a hole like this. I was in a hole like this, which and I, this is just completely when I come and get into your stuff is always been. It's always been this. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So if you go look at DIY Prop Shop, the first few episodes of that that I was in, that was the back room of the Smosh building. So that was a, a working studio as well. That was just the. That was our art department was allowed to hang out and do their thing. It was by the toilet. <laughs> yep, it was by the back bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if if you uh, if you go look at any of those episodes of DIY Prop Shop, like the uh, uh, um, the Rick and Morty portal gun, just know that just off camera to my left, just outside of camera, and you probably see it in some shots, is the door to the back bathroom, <laughs> which is a phone booth bathroom. Um, yeah. I hated using that bathroom. <laughs> like I. Right. But. <laughs> I would choose that bathroom over the upstairs bathroom because that upstairs bathroom, everybody could hear. Yeah, everybody could going hear. Going down. Because the other thing to note with that particular video, I brought this up last time, there's a pipe that runs behind my head in that shop. It's on, a, it's on an angle. That's the sewer pipe from the upstairs bathroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was it was nice doing my videos when I was the only one in the building because you wouldn't hear any water uh, flowing through the pipe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and now, yay for not being near any of the bathrooms. No, no, I'm not. There's no running water back in this shop at all. I have to go to the front of the building to get to a sink. Yeah. What Just is that? Joe. Is Felicia Odin's daughter? No. No. Just co workers. <laughs> Just co workers. Yeah. Yep. Known her for years. <laughs> uh, hello, Odin. 
from North Carolina. It'd be really nice to see you guys make the battle claws from the Isles of Guaul. Okay. So I reading it before I got to the full end. Oh, that came up twice. So there you go. Total noob gamer. That guy, R.I.P. Zot. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. He does look like an evil Odin. <laughs> right. I ate him and assumed his powers. <laughs> that kind of made me laugh. And yeah, it's, like... it's supposed to. <laughs> People are asking if you're single. No, she's married. Somebody else is pointing out you're married. Yes, I am married. She is married. And but we're not, not to married each. to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Florida. Gideon 4000. Oh, thank you, Freestyle Gamer. Just saying, hey, huge fan. Been watching for years. Your videos are amazing, and you're so talented. And impressed by each video. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Of course, I have no memory. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Freestyle Gamer. And it was something gamer. I just read Total Noob Gamer, too. So it's like, ah, oh, I'm getting mixed up. Thank you, Freestyle. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bad memory for, for, for that. Linden Story. Hi, I'm thinking about starting to get into prop making. Any tips for starting out? Who would really help? Yeah, um, so you're starting out. Don't be afraid to think that cardboard and hot glue is a great place to start out. And honestly, because um, anything, anything you can get a hold of that you can get a hold of a lot of that's going to be very cheap, because you're starting out, right? I, I assume you don't want to just throw a ton of money at it right off the bat. And it's pointless if you do, because... Because you're going to burn through a lot of money before you get somewhere. Yeah. So cardboard, uh, hot glue, razor knife, you could do a lot. Uh, you could do a lot. And there are properties within using cardboard that are unique to cardboard because, you know, it, it bends very easily one way with the corrugation, very difficult another way against the corrugation. You can rip one layer off and then you can really get some nice round smooths with it. But um, even beyond that, that still holds over to other materials. Foam bends in any direction you want, yeah. but when you first unroll it, it's been in a roll for, you know, for those of us who use rolls, uh, it's been in a roll for so long, it really wants to curl one particular direction. That becomes kind of cardboard-like. Uh, and then there's the the precision that you want to have when you're doing a cardboard prop to make sure all of your pieces line up, you don't have big gaps. That's going to carry through for any material you work with. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Use what you got. Use what you got. Don't be afraid to try something, and don't be afraid if it fails. Yeah, definitely. Like, just keep going. Just keep going, exactly. Yeah. And then don't worry about, it's my first prop, and oh, it doesn't look as good as what Lucasfilm put out. Of course not. Mine doesn't look as good as what Lucasfilm puts out. Uh, so don't, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. You're going to be your own worst critic. Yep, and the yeah. point is for them to be fun. So. Yeah, definitely have fun. Mm -hmm. I keep, I'm caffeinated, so I feel like I'm, I'm stepping on what she's talking about. <laughs> not giving her a chance to finish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I was just thinking, it could be stressful, but it doesn't have to be. No, no. it doesn't. Okay, what are they saying? It's going beep, beep, beep over there. Beep, 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 yep. Lots of people are excited about the idea of RoboCop. Um, I like that RoboCop doesn't wear pants when he's driving. Right. <laughs> no, well, he can't. In the movie, specifically, you know, like in the making of the movie, he couldn't get into the car wearing the Robo pants. <laughs> And, and, and realistically, if you think about it, no, there's no way he's going to be able to get in the car wearing the robo pants. It's a Taurus! <laughs> Which were brand new, by the way, when the movie came out. That was that's, that's how old that movie is. It was a brand new, ooh, look at that car when it came out. Not yeah. quite, but it was just it was but, much better than the prop car they had delivered because they all laughed at it. I genuinely <laughs> love the whole, he's not wearing any pants. Yeah, no, he's not. Well, he might be wearing pants, but he's not wearing his robo pants. He's not pants. wearing robo pants, right. No, he's not. But no, Robocop costume would be would be pretty cool in Dark Knight. Uh, oh, hey, Omar from uh, Saudi Arabia. Sweet, hello. Uh, saying the videos really helped him. Well, I'm 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 putting a a, a mail on that. Sorry, Omar, if I'm wrong. But uh, fan of Saudi Arabia, your videos really helped helped me uh, along with my crafting, and he gave me new ideas. That's awesome. That's, yeah. That's. Thank you. That's actually why I'm doing the video. So I, I want to entertain and I want to help inspire people to do stuff. I'm I am not as wrapped up into thinking people are going to specifically do the projects that I'm doing. Um, I, I, I get really excited and really happy to know that people are doing 
any project and are, are somewhat inspired to get a project going on their own uh, from my videos and from the things that I've been putting out. That is more my goal. Yeah. yeah, I think it's harder to do them for yourself, honestly. So if you're doing a project for yourself, for fun, because you want to. Right. Yeah. Yes. So much easier to do it for other people. Because one of the things is you get a deadline. You, yeah. get, you, have, you have a point when it has to be finished. You're yeah. doing a project for yourself. You're going to be able to nitpick it. I am and so nice to myself. Like it's go, perfect. oh, it's okay. Yeah, I'll get to that next week. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, yeah. just take it easy. You don't need to work on that right now. No, you've got time. It's not due. <laughs> right. Yeah. So if you can get projects done for yourself, good for you. Those are some great work habits to have. <laughs> Trust from a couple of creatives that... Well, they deadline. started out with my projects, and then they turned into other projects, and now my projects are a little harder. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mega Godzilla is very much a my project thing, and I need to... The balance of I gotta get it done within a week, and I want it to look as close as I can get it to the Toho monster, dang it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start mushing them together. Uh, yep. Uh, Popular Gaming 3.0. Hello, could you post all the blueprints from the Gundam? I haven't spent the time to make full blueprints for all the Gundam. Honestly, any any pattern that I put out, which is fun to do, especially when someone's barking. Um, sorry. So when I want to put a pattern out, it takes up to eight hours, even on a simple pattern, to put it together in a way that's digestible by anyone else. Because uh, there's the, the process of taking all the cardboard templates. I still have most of them for the Gundam. Um, they all need to be scanned into the computer. They all need to be traced and cleaned up. They all need to be notated so someone can actually understand. Uh, I usually go simple in the notation under the assumption that you'll just watch the video again. Um, which honestly is partly why most of my videos, most of my patterns are free is because I allow them to be simply notated with the idea that the video will get watched again and so I'll get a little, make a little money that way. We should fix this before. Okay, how bad is it? It's about a full half inch off. Wow. All right. <laughs> like, I'm all for eyeballing, but this is like a this little is, this too... This is a little too much? Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, Oops. cause see, look Sorry. at that. No, I told you. It's not that off, but I it's... think it's one of those things that I knew it was off when I was doing it, but then I forgot to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, so before we actually stick these together... It started. It's stuck, yeah. Uh, we just need to put something down here so those two don't stick anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but I just kind of, before we do that, this would be a good... Well, this will stop the stick, but if we use something else, we can cut against. Yeah. Because, see, we are at about three and a half. Three, three quarters. And then this is almost fully at four. Okay. So, what was it? Three, three quarters and fully at four? So, we're right here. Oh, three and a quarter. Oh, three and three eighths. I see. Three and three eighths right there. No! He is not coming back next time. He is not being behaved. But this is three and a half. And then right here we are almost... So if you were right there. That's, I'm just seeing the back of your hand, Sorry. unfortunately. So that's three. So you want to be here. Yeah. Because it's, it's three eighths, right? Yeah. Right there. See? Yeah, I'm seeing three eighths. That actually might be a little high. Okay. But it so. just was off. It is off. I'm not surprised. I did it. <laughs> um, do you need cardboard or a better surface? Probably. There's that piece of uh, cardboard would be great. If you can, can you find cardboard? If you can't, I might just uh, draw a line and do this with the scissors. Okay. Maybe. Or I might be able to do it in space. <laughs> space. I have seen many a request for doing Wheatley. And... Uh, I haven't done a Wheatley public, puppet, but I do like Wheatley. I think you should use scissors. I can't oh, find. That's fine. Yeah. Although me saying space, that isn't Wheatley, but you know. Is Wheatley's roommate in space? Space! right now. What is going on? 
Normally Toby's A-OK, -okay, but because Bruno's being needy, Toby's like, hold my hand. Right. <laughs> I don't just want to be, just want to be a fear of being left out, right? Right. That looks better from here already. That's good. My eyes are so bad I can't... Actually, it was a joke at Smosh. My eyes are so bad I can't trust them for that type of thing. It's really hard for me to see stuff that's crooked for whatever reason. Okay. Um, Every single um, wall in my old house was uh -huh. crooked. Okay. Every, like Every there, single there one was, of them? the foundation was settled funny from the 1940s. Okay. And there wasn't a single level wall in my house. <laughs> and I can eyeball. And you can see it. <laughs> so much. And so like I would take all my artwork and I'd make it level and it would look crooked. But as long right. as all of it was level on the same level, the other, the house can right. just be off. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, like I, I, I eyeball things too much. And so if it's too off and I can tell. Right. No, it's, it's fine. Um, the, same, the same Batman set we keep, uh, we keep talking about. We've done a number of Batman things, but there's one of them where they were going to go to an amusement park to, to go ride on a, on a roller coaster as part of the, the Smosh skit. And so I uh, had to set up what was going to be the, the wait in line for the, for the roller coaster with all the warning signs. And ba the idea is Batman's freaking out about, it's too big, it's too high, it's too dangerous, I can't do this. And Robin's trying to calm him down. Well, I, I hung up all these signs, keep your arms inside, you know, all this whatever joke signs we put up. And I step back and look at them. And every single one of them is exactly, you know, 15 degrees. <laughs> They're all identical, the same, all the way across. It's like... When I'm up close trying to hang it, I just can't tell. <laughs> but they were all the same. <laughs> so yeah. at least I was consistently wrong, I guess. Uh, yeah, it happens. But, okay. So we can move forward. Okay. Right, I'm nervous about this little middle spot. Uh, Lorna Cherry, I wasn't aware that you did live streams. This is this is great. Big fan. Thank you, Lorna. Um, do you have any new. plans on working on any movies in the future? Uh, I'm not in the direct market area for be working to be working on a movie. I would have to be in Southern California. Um, typically, when you're working on any kind of production like that, if you're not in the area and immediately available, you're not going to get hired because it's going to take you too long to get there. They're going to lose too much time waiting a day for you to show up. Um, which I totally get and understand, right? And I was told that in the 90s. Um, so no, actually I don't have any plans. I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy just doing my YouTube channel uh, on occasion when other productions come through here or when trains come rumbling through. Um, helping out doing props for, for music videos and things like that. And that's I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Uh, would, would I do movies? If, if for some crazy reason something came up, yeah, I'd probably jump on it if I could. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I've gotten that random call. Can you come do overnight shoot? Yeah. <laughs> Did my Maybe, sister's uh... shoes. That's the only like feature film that I've done, but it was okay. totally one of those. Totally one of those? Right. Yeah. That's cool. So there's not enough glue right here. Otherwise, it would be perfect and pretty. <laughs> All right. Well, then Look we're going to... Look at that. Can we peel it back? How sad I think is it? We're... There's paper there. <laughs> okay, y'all see me doing ridiculous live. <laughs> okay, I was like, why is this not? Paper is great <laughs> for keeping things separate till you need them. Yeah, paper is great for keeping things separate until you need. Do you want paper on this other side so you only have to worry about one side? Or you want my hand? Well, I figured I might as well start with the where it matters the most, yeah, and then work my way down because I can you always push it too much. You've got to yeah, because you kind of got to let it right. It's got to just do its thing a little it's bit, like the fondant. See, look at that. So much better now that there's not paper there. Yeah, now it's actually able to stick. <laughs> Backing off. That's all. Feel the 
backing off. So simple. Thankfully. I think this looks good though. Thankfully it was just that simple. Is that a little bit? Oh, there it goes, okay. Yeah. The light hit it just right, I could see it really easily. Yeah. And I find the secret is you always just push the wrinkles off the edge. Oh, okay. So you know how it always kind of wants to be too much? You just push those off the edge. Okay. You'd probably be really good at putting vinyl stickers down. Yeah, probably. You know, there's a whole union for that in Vegas for trade shows. I always wanted to do the vinyl covered cars. Because oh, okay. I've covered cars and enough stuff in the weird jobs that I've had. Right. There was a, there was a business next to the video duplication house I was working at. This is the 90s in, in Adam Ranch, Cordova. And yeah, that's what they did. They did, they did wraps for... Um, um, Mostly for, for, for businesses. for uh, They would do the small buses, and then they would do things like Red Bull came through, and, and some other coffee energy drink came through, and they're out there doing the full wrap on the, on the vehicle. You want to do camera two or four, two, so people can see? It looks all smooth. It's all smooth. Well, camera two is iris down a little bit. But, I know, um, right? You can see a little more. Oh, I guess four is on auto, so it's going to do its thing. Yeah, so you have the little pectoral, the little, the little got, pet monkey squirrels. The pet monkey squirrels. <laughs> and you kind of can see that you put something there, but I think it's also just being bent right at that spot right there. Well, it there. should be bent to that spot. I mean, well, his is smooth, but he's also got buckles, so there's some sort of magical thing being closed there. I don't know why <laughs> there's buckles there. That bothers me that I can't use the buckles for structural integrity of the shoulder pieces, but it's there for purposeless for the <laughs> bring nothing together anyways yeah that's my pet peeves okay okay um Ethan Haley do a guar costume I've done guar costumes <laughs> which I'm sure is why you're asking it may not be but I've, I've done guar costumes not for guar I've met guar because of guar costumes that, that we made but if you look up uh, it's Warrior, but with a G, so it's Gorrier, uh West Coast. It's an old Angel Fire uh, website. Anyway, that's got pictures of the choir costumes that I made, and, and, and I'm in some of the earlier pictures there. So. It looks like there's an air bubble, but it's not. I see the bump here. You see it? I see the bump. Yeah, there's a bump here. There's a little bump here. Yeah, but then when I look at them at this angle, they're gone. It still looks like there's one here. Peeling up easy enough if you want to uh, yeah, reapply look. anything. Oh, but it's pretty smooth. Or you can uh, warm it up and it might reactivate the glue a little bit and get it to stick better. I was seeing Bill Duran do that. Yeah. But it's not that bad. Uh, Gotta keep it contact. And I right. figure we can let this one dry and okay. we can. I'll move um, this one and let it dry and let it droop like that one did uh, a little bit. Yep. That's got some new shape to it now. Because now we can kind of peel off, we'll cut it closer to the seam allowance. Right. And put some of the glue on the back side. So yeah, that we, we want to wrap it around? Yeah, because we want to wrap it towards the back. And yeah, okay. So I just want to trim it so it's about an inch around. Okay. Of course, me, I'm going to go Scissors. grab a ruler. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are not being precise. <laughs> about an inch around. Maybe a little bit more because you want to go up that quarter. Is that a quarter of an inch? This, right this is about a quarter of an inch. It's six yeah. mil. So, yeah, it's, it's six mil is about a quarter. So, it has to go up a quarter inch and over. Right. So, that'll, and then that'll take it. Jaden L on Discord is saying, ever since Felicia said that she takes it as a compliment when somebody sees an imperfection, that they felt so much better about making stuff. So that's cool. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel like I make enough mistakes. Thank you for noticing right. that I'm human. Anthea Pan Panio, how are you guys? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Hungry. Yeah. But yeah. But good. Thank hey, you. Wow. For 
we've been screaming along on this and it's already wow all right getting there right We're getting there i feel like we made some big chunks though i know it it's not the biggest thing but i got a very major compliment in in the chat room uh, which which thank you um Adam Bryant says, Bill Duran, Odin Makes, and Kamui Cosplay equals the Holy Trinity of Cosplay. <laughs> it's like, wow, thank you. <laughs> you know, you really can't have cosplay without props. Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, costumes and props. Right. Accessories and costumes. Accessories. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I could get someone dressed up at the costume shop, but then you take them over to the accessories and the props, and all of a sudden people are, like, ready to play. Right. Now they had, yeah. Now the character's, yes, <laughs> complete. Right. So, yes, I think that's a very nice compliment, very, and I can big, agree. So, thank you. As many trains that go through this area during the day, it's not ruining your audio at all. No, not at all. It's not like dogs barking. No, um, it, they're being hey, good. Uh -uh. Well, no. okay, I was going to say being good. Maybe they're not. Oh, it's wrong one. <laughs> they were just chewing their blanket again. Oh, okay. I had to stop them. <laughs> <laughs> they really like that. I just got that blanket. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. This is the first time they've used it. I was like, look at it. So you guys can have a cute little blanket. No. No, no, they're going to chew on it. No. All right. Oh, well, now they're back to being cute. At least they're not chewing their blanket. There you go. Oh, there. They're a little instigator. A little instigator. Go on. Okay. Data North? Uh, yes, I am doing a Mecha Godzilla build. It's going to be epic. I hope it is going to be epic. It's going to be this Wednesday. Not the whole thing, but the first part. It's the going hardest to be part. The right? hardest part. It's going to be multi part. Uh, so the Godzilla build is going to be, the Mecha Godzilla build is going to be just like the the, uh, the Gundam build where it's going to take multiple episodes to get the full thing done. Uh, with the Gundam, up front, we talked about, you know, my family, we talked about, um, dang it. <laughs> we talked about how many videos we wanted to break it down into. It's like, okay, well, there's the head, there's the body, there's the legs, there's the arms, there's this, there's that. And, and, and came up with a goal of how many episodes it was going to be, how long it was going to take to get it all done, and, and, and this whole thing. And we pretty much did that. There was one extra video that got built because the feet and legs became too much to do all, all at once. Uh, I'm not trying to do that with Mega Godzilla because it's not as obvious. Um, it's like True, I can see upper huh? body and lower body as two different videos maybe, which doesn't sound that exciting, but there's the whole tail. Uh, you know, uh, there's 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 a fabric element to all the all the joints. Uh, so the '74 Godzilla has actually got almost the classic science fiction robot of you know the accordions at the elbows of the joints. Like the dryer. Yeah, like the dryer vents. vents. Almost, it's not those, but so you can't quite. But. Can't quite, but it's pretty much that. So I'm okay with all that, but uh, I yeah I, I just want to keep making parts and get as far along with each part as I can. I wouldn't be surprised if like the hands and the feet become separate videos and they're not part of the arms, uh, but maybe <gasps> they will. No, oh, all done. <laughs> I hear tearing. I heard tearing too. <laughs> yeah, I think Bruno really doesn't. <laughs> I don't know which is being torn up if it's their jammies or the blanket. I don't know. Well, I th that's the last time I get them a nice new blanket. They just get hand-me-down blankets from yeah, now on. Pretty much. Uh, so my dad actually reupholstered his boat with uh, blankets like that. I love them. They're they were... so warm and comfortable yeah. and lightweight. You know. And brightly colored. Bobby J says the blanket tastes like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Cantuna asked this a couple of times and I missed it before because I'm getting distracted. Cantuna is asking, I was wondering... Does foam clay decrease size after a while? And if it does, does that affect your paint and proportions like on the Blades of Chaos? Oh, yeah, huh? Um, it does. Uh, one of the things I was doing for the He-Man sword was um, I took some of the foam clay and mashed it into an artist's palette in order to make the, 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 the rounded depressions on the side. I ended up using cat toys as the He-Man sword, but those pieces got used on the Buster sword. And so when I got around to finally using one of the Buster Sword, they had shrank away from the walls of the of the artist palette by a few millimeters. They got, they got quite a bit smaller. Well, because the water's evaporating. Yeah, if it's air dry, so exactly. of course it's gonna so it's gonna shrink up. Get more and more compact. But at least 
Would that make it crack as it's shrinking? I don't know if it make it crack if or it's shrinking or not. It, it could, yeah. uh, but I also wonder how much if the shrinking isn't proportional to the thickness of the material to start with. Right. Like uh, a lot of injection molded plastic has uh, has hollow pieces in it or cutouts in it because if you were to injection mold a a good size like a solid Lego brick, right? Even even the one by one Lego brick, something if you do that solid, it's going to shrink in the middle as it cools because it's just too much material. Uh -huh. So uh, I think it had, does have a similar problem. Let's see if yeah. I can't find it. should be over there. Yeah. Something you definitely have to be aware of because that would affect your whole paint job if it all... And then does it evenly shrink? No. Over the whole area or does it only shrink the outside to the inside and... Yeah, I don't think it, I don't think they, it would evenly shrink. Oh, these are abused. <laughs> Bummer that. Okay, all well, I've got. There's some wrinkling here. Would so you I've got some do wrinkling. Camera four or two? I definitely see that I've got some wrinkling happening up here. I don't know how well you can see that. Put a bunch of the lights on it. So I got some happening here. Now to some extent, some of this happened when I first put the uh, Flex Seal or Plastic Dip on it. I, remember, I don't remember which one I used on this. Because the smoothness of the foam, it didn't, it didn't grab, it didn't adhere as well. Like this is all new. I don't remember this texture before. Oh yeah, that does look like there's gotten some... But for the most part, so up at the top where I think the Plastic Dip came away from the... Uh, I can see some difference. So all this out here, which this is all solid, nothing but <coughs> darn it, nothing but foam clay. I am seeing a little bit of shrinkage, shrinkage. But um, the stuff that's 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 that was pretty small to begin with, the actual sculpt, the teeth, this all feels okay. I'm not feeling uh, the plastic that pulling away from there. Let's just a little here. It's probably really hard for the camera to see that, but I can see the light playing off the gold as it moves. So yeah, it has happened a little bit here, um, but it's not something that I've heard about a lot online. So I don't think it's a chronic problem. I think it's 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 not that big of a deal, but it's something definitely to happened. Keep in mind, right? You know, you build something, you kind of want it to last a little bit longer than the first time you use it. Right. It doesn't always have to. Sometimes it just needs to make it to that. But. Well, Soul Edge is a year old. I'm not seeing any kind of pulling away on Soul Edge. I'm not seeing any, uh, the eyes still held in really well. The tentacles that are attached to the, to the blade are still holding really well. This has been to a couple of cons and handled too. So it's, so Soul Edge is holding up really well. It may just be that what happened to this guy is, um, uh, I plastic dipped it first and then painted it with spray paint, whereas Soul Edge, that's all, did I spray paint that? I don't think I spray paint. Did I spray paint that? Or is that plastic dipped as well? I'd have to watch the video now. I don't remember. It's been, it's only been 50 some odd projects since I've done it, uh, but any, it's, it's, it's holding really well. So, sometimes? <laughs> that chain's really good for microphones too. Check in on. Oh, Freestyle Gamer, this cream is a great start to my week. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Bruno likes it too. We've got about another 10 minutes before we start the long term uh, sign off because. I never seem to. It's two. Good night. That doesn't seem to happen. But uh, at at the top of the hour, we need to start saying, "Hey, it's been a lot of fun." But we got ten minutes till then. Okay. Um, Unless you want to go super long, but I need to get stuff painted on a Mecha Godzilla. Okay. Uh, cool. Looks like for the most part, looks like uh, Discord's talking to itself. <laughs> CC. Has a message for the dogs in Seinfeld style. No blanket for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I 
Sky's just sitting here whining at me. Uh, Sky to Jesus has a really good question. Can a heat gun start a fire? Yes. Yes. I almost burnt down. <laughs> there is a burn mark on the leg of the table because the, the heat gun, I've got a hook just to hang it, right? And so my habit is I'll put it on cool, make sure it's cool, then I'll hang it up and ignore it. Well, Felicia see, see me do that, so she hung it up without putting it on cool. Or maybe she thought she did, but it didn't actually get I set. thought I put it on you cool, thought you did it? Okay. and I hung it to put it out of the way, and I'm, it started smelling like fire. Yeah, it's like, what's well, burning? And and it's not just charred. There's actually a... Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. You totally can. Absolutely, you can start a fire. How's it going over there? Well, I almost started the fire, so there's that. There's that. Just like a soldering iron can start a fire. You know, it, It's hot, so absolutely it can. Oh, sweet. Ralph Morick says, I actually own the metal replicas of the Blades of Chaos. That's cool. Yeah. I have oh. the, some fans sent in the Blades of Chaos into Smosh. Oh, right. And I, we ended up having to rip them apart for the gauntlet parts, but I have okay. the blades themselves with the chains. Neat. I still have those. Neat. I don't know how those ended up, but I, I, I have How you them. ended up with them, but you have them. <laughs> right? I think. Totally cool. I get it. Yeah. But I, I, I do like this. Those ones are always fun to play with. Yeah. Um, the metal props are awesome and they feel good and, and, and they work. My aversion to metal is just um, you can't bring them into a con. The whole point of putting on cosplay is actually go somewhere, right? And hang out with, with fellow cosplayers. But the general safety rules of cons, you almost uniformly, not 100%, almost uniformly, you can't have live steel at a con. So you end up with wooden swords or foam swords. And the other big benefit of, of someone who is cosplaying and just wearing a costume is something lightweight you'll actually hold on to and keep using. If yeah. you make something that feels real, like you have, you know, so the actual Stormbreaker from Avengers, uh, Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, weighed 70 pounds because, you know, Chris was totally happy to pick this thing up and it made him flex and made him look good. I don't want to carry around a 70 pound prop. Could I? Yeah, I could. I wouldn't look heroic doing it, but I could do it. I don't well, want to do it. <laughs> hollowed it out, I could use it as a purse, and then it'd be 75 pounds. Yeah, there you go. All right, fair <laughs> enough. So, my okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just a whiny man thing by having to carry around something heavy. <laughs> no, I get it. Like, working at a costume shop, we always told people, be careful of props. Are you going to want to carry this? Are you going to want to babysit it drunk? Right. If you tend to have fun, are you going to babysit this prop? Right. One of my secrets was for boas, if you ever wanted to bring boas, because those things disappear so easily because oh, they're super hot, easy. they're annoying, they're fun at first, and then they just get away. And then they away. shed. Yeah. Especially feather boas. Yeah. You pin them. Yep. I was to, thinking you were going to say that. You pin them to your top of your gloves, if you're wearing tall gloves, or okay. pin it to the bottom of your sleeves, but you just pin it, and then you can forget it. But and yeah. it's not going anywhere. Okay. But props, you just got to have a plan to <laughs> make a right. strap, or you got to hang it, like when you are having fun. Yeah, you have a place to put this down. Uh, a and it's lot of not going to walk off. And it's not going to walk off. Uh, a lot of cosplayers also have handlers to help them with such a thing. In fact, the um, Bites cosplay, I can't remember her name, it was the South African cosplayer I talked about earlier. She's talked about doing this large war hammer for a particular character she was working on. And it ended up being fairly heavy because it was huge. And so her handler would actually have to carry this war hammer when they moved from spot to spot. And then when it was time to pose for a picture, they'd give it to her and she could hold it then. <laughs> but with the armor and everything else, it wasn't like she couldn't carry the weight. Combined with wearing the armor, with the helmet, with the lack of vision, it was just too much. Yeah, well, the Gundam costume, I yeah. could walk in. Right. I couldn't really move my head, so you really have to be led. Yes. You really need... Mm -hmm. You really need. We do want to redo the eyes for the Gundam. We've gotten um, some more of the lenticular uh, etched plastic, like we, what we put in War Machine, and we want to redo the Gundam with some yellow LEDs and hopefully improve the vision. Um, hasn't happened yet, but that was that was a that was a hope. In the in the works. In, in the works, like so many other things. Cool. People talking about stuff they have, like original signed Superman pictures from Christopher Reeve. 
Ooh. Well, I used to have the original signed, not the original, but a signed copy of the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, yeah. With the original artist writing his little story by hand. Oh. Of what, like why and how. Uh huh. Ended up giving it to a friend for a baby shower, but they're uh, still fine. They're still nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mel's Creative Arts is saying, yeah, I always lose props. It's sad how many times I've accidentally left cool props. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's sad. Because you're, you're carrying this thing. I mean, the characters have it in the game, but they're, you know, in, in well, even in the they movie. They have massive pockets. I want these pockets yeah. that they have in the video game. Right. Here, let me just take this whole turkey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where, 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 where does Cloud keep his... Well, actually, Cloud, no. Cloud, you can tell because it's on his back, but it's the other one, uh, Sephiroth. His sword disappears, right? He doesn't always have it. It grows when he's attacking with it, and it shrinks when he's not attacking with it, right? Or am I wrong? Or is that just Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the reality, I was just shocked of how modern of an invention pockets are in general. Oh, yeah. It was all pouches, right? Pouches, yeah. Yeah. It was like, wait. You didn't just automatically put a pocket? Like, is that so hard to put a pocket? <laughs> well, if you look at women's fashion, yes, yes it is. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I remember seeing that as a little kid going, wait, 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 pockets are new? Pockets are new? <laughs> Why yeah. would we not have these? <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so just so you guys see what I'm doing, I am making it as, well, which uh, camera? Oh, do well. Do two. Do two. Two is this one. Let's do that. Four is overhead? Four, four is good. Okay. okay. But four see how here. it's like nice and smooth on the neckline? Uh-huh. And like butter. No, like fondant. Right, right. So in order, remember how you it's were getting it back. really bunchy? Yes, I was getting it very bunchy before. To keep it from getting too bunchy, I sliced it, but I didn't slice it quite to the so quarter inch. I, I kept the slices on the back. Right. So I see each of the peaks of the slices are like a, a millimeter or so away, maybe two millimeters from the edge. And these slices aren't triangles to begin with. That's just a single cut. And because of the curve, it opens them up. Exactly. Okay. So just letting you know, just smoothing it over. I'm cutting out my corners so that, because the vinyl's not going to stick to itself. Yeah, no. But just wanted to show you kind of how I cut through that curve. Okay. I, I was I was I was kind of looking over and peeking and yeah I will admit my my the other ones are pretty messy when I kind of slam those out. No, I know it's not the easiest. Is but you know you smoosh it, smoosh it, smoosh it, you smoosh it. Just let me smooshed. We have a thank you from Ben and Lynch. Ben and Lynch. I think I'm saying that right. Love from Ireland. Uh, and love it when you're repurposing, repurposing parts from the dollar store. Yes. And yes, as much as possible. Um, One of my favorite things to do when I'm doing a build or a set or a shoot is to just go through the dollar store and look at things as they've never been seen before. Right. I need a clear, like the eyeball, you needed a right. clear plastic, this shape. This shape. And we're looking there and I'm like, oh, look at that Easter egg. Look at this. Look at that. Look at these we Yeah. Yeah. I've, I, I haven't done it yet, but I've always wanted to take uh, one of the jumbo Easter eggs and use it as a face shield for like a space helmet. Yeah. Yeah. I used to have a couple that I set aside for that, but you know, moving it around, they get cracked. <laughs> but no, thank you. Yes, uh, especially with DIY Prop Shop. But that one, I had more of a budget for what I was doing, and it was very much keep it, uh, you know, low-end low budget, keep it something that uh, a viewer could do in a weekend and, and could afford doing. That was kind of the, the beginning premise of the show. As the show continued, things got more and more outlandish, like Marceline's guitar and Maui's hook. But um, that was the beginning of it. And so, yeah, the dollar store was absolutely hot for that, uh, as well as, I'm sure, Poundland or, or any thrift, st thrift, stop, thrift store, uh, secondhand store to, to find stuff. Oh, yeah. Gotta yeah. love thrift stores. Gotta love thrift stores. Gonna, gonna look forward to going to those again when they open up. <laughs> have, <laughs> trying like, to think, have I? Some of them are open, but I'm just not going shopping yeah. right now. Like it's just not the year. Use no. what you got. I have storage. I have stashes. I went to I went to a thrift store for doing the Fallout build for the Fallout costume we did, and I think that's the only time I've been to a thrift store since January. I haven't. Like I was going to go get a used leather coat for this. Yeah. Because I like using used leather. I don't yeah. like buying brand new leather if I can avoid it. Right. But... <laughs> or a nice old couch. <laughs> yeah, right? But then you have to get rid of the rest of it, which is a pain in the butt. But it is an option. It is.
Connor Cook, what was the best moment in your cosplay creating life if you had one? What was the best moment in my cosplay? Honestly, it's probably meeting the people who actually do it. Um, so the, I could do two of them, they, the, and the two come, come to mind immediately. Um, one of them was doing the guar costumes. So because we're doing the guar costumes, we did it for three or four years in a row. Um, the guar guys heard about us and invited us to come down to uh, be backstage when they played at the Warfield in San Francisco. So I actually got to meet Hunter Jackson, uh, Techno Destructo, and he, he took us on a tour through the lower portions of the Warfield, showed us the dressing rooms, we were able to go through the, 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 the trunks and look at the costume parts. He took us into the incredibly smelly uh, uh, semi-truck trailer where everything was, was hauled around. And he said, yeah, as, as the shows progress, and they're doing all this wet stuff on stage because Guar's got all this fake blood, you know, as part of the show. It's salt water with food coloring, but it's fake blood. And so with that and, and, and people wearing rubber costumes, it gets funky towards the end of a tour. And the Warfield was towards the end of the tour. Um, and so that was, that was really cool. And the other fun thing was when I got to do um, the Monterey Comic Con, very similar type story, uh, I show up and... Since I'm being treated as a celebrity, this was very, very new for being in YouTube, but that was being, uh, I was given a, a booth to, to do my exhibit in. Um, they set me next to another celebrity, Tori Bellici from Mythbusters. Yeah. <laughs> it took me all day to work up the nerve to say hi to Tori. <laughs> not not going to lie. And, and, and what are we separated by? You know, a grid wall with my junk on it. That's all. And he's he's uh, Nick over there with, 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 with his girlfriend, and, and they've got... Uh, in fact, I think I'm wearing his shirt. I am. I'm wearing his, uh, his busted shirt right now it's underneath this one um, with, with you know, pictures and stickers and T-shirts. So I finally say, hey, you know, I love what you do. I love what, what you do in Mythbusters. You're a lot of fun. I liked White Rabbit Project. And the first thing out of his mouth was, I love your portal gun. That was a great build. <laughs> Talking about the Rick and Morty one. So that was like, Yes. And, and then uh, the second day, we actually got invited over to uh, his warehouse because apparently he's from Monterey. He was born in Monterey. Oh. He lives up in the Bay Area now. Uh, but, so he actually had a, a, a warehouse flat in, in whatever district in Monterey. And so we had the, uh, the Saturday night after party at Tori's place, and that was really wow. cool. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. It was fun. And I was still like this weird kind of... I didn't take advantage of the fact that I was invited to Tori's place to talk to him more. I was still super intimidated. <laughs> I, I can feel that. I can feel that. Yeah. Yeah. That's still uh, Love from Ireland. Great. Mel's Creative Arts says, yes, this is my first live stream that I was able to catch. Love your channel so much and inviting us out to the Texas Renaissance Fair. Ooh. Or festival, excuse me. Would love to go. It's, it's a bit a of a drive. Since, <laughs> since I've been to a Ren Fair. They're, yeah. They're not 100% shut down, believe it or not. Not that I'm trying to go to one or anything. No, well, they're mostly outdoors. They're outdoors in an outdoor setting. They... James was going to go do a booth in one, so they have hand sanitizing regulations and masks and right. stuff. So th there's ways to do it. Right. But I miss that. It's yeah. Not this year. This is not the year for not, that. Not a good year for this that. This is no. the year to build the outfit that you wear next year. There you go. So I'm just saying. What's that? I'm talking to myself going, I'm going to go at the single. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Sometimes, you know. Alrighty. Yes, I, uh, I'm seeing requests for Judge Dredd uh, props. I love Judge Dredd art. I love uh, 2000 AD comics because uh, I, I used to look at them a lot when I was working at the comic shop. Seen, I saw the Stallone movie. I haven't seen the Carl Urban movie. Um, I'm sure it'd be great. I like the Ace Robot. Um, it's, it's unfortunate that Stallone took the helmet off as quickly as he did. Uh, but yeah. Judge Dredd's got some great look uh, with the eagle shoulder pads. I, I should do some Judge, Judge, Judge Dredd props. Um, Walter Van Bellahem. I could totally massacre that. Have I ever? Do I ever think about creating something together with Adam Savage? Yeah, all the time. 
Um, but uh, yeah, haven't, and um, I don't think this year has been a good year for trying to do any kind of collaboration. Uh, the closest I've come to anybody from Tested is uh, I had lunch with, uh, wow, Kashin? Now all of a sudden I'm blanking on his name and I feel like an ass. Uh, but I, I met him at, at Dragon Con. He was just on the podcast again this last week. Um, and it was really nice hearing from him that a lot of the Tested guys will talk about, at least at that time, my new videos when they came out. I don't know if they still do or not. But uh, so that was kind of, that was a good feeling. Um, and, and he didn't realize that I was only two hours away from San Francisco. So it's possible, but um, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. Here you go. Look at this. It's finished. The back is finished. Not bad, right? No. No, it's great. It's very, very clean. <laughs> Looks pretty. I'm glad we ended up doing the vinyl over the Plasti Dip. Yeah, for sure. Because I was it's... feeling the Plasti Dip because in my head I just want to spray it and make it done. Right, but uh, this has got, it's got the texture, it's finished. I mean, yeah. No, it's great. So it's 10 minutes after. I gotta stick this down. You gotta stick this down, that's okay. I have to okay. stick it down. It's there's right. no not sticking it down, otherwise we have to repaint it next well, week. Well, typically at this point we try to sign off, but if she has to stick it down, I'll just keep yakking. If you guys need to go, it's totally cool, I, I, I understand. You have my permission to leave. You actually always did. Um, but... We'll just, I'll keep rambling until she's got everything stuck down. It's just all, it's almost, you know. Yeah, we're almost there, yeah. And maybe next week something will actually happen. You know what? I, <laughs> mm -hmm. Maker JP, you're going to get some wet clay and sculpt something then, dude. Uh, yeah, we talked about it, but I haven't been, um... I looked at clay briefly once when I went into Blick Arts about a week ago, and I didn't specifically see wet clay. Not a good excuse, but I don't have a project I'm working on on my imminent horizon that's requiring clay. So, um, yeah, it hasn't happened. Uh, not saying it won't, but realistically, if I'm doing something creative, to, to some extent, you know, if I'm doing a larger project, I don't get to do stuff just for fun. Not, uh, anymore. I, not anymore. I don't have the time. I, I have to shoot it, basically. Otherwise, I'm kind of wasting my time because that's what I do. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, but um, I remember overhearing Ted talk about that, evil Ted Smith, talk about that. Uh, that was something Bill Duran had mentioned to him. And I think they're both absolutely right that um, my life is now baking stuff. And if I don't shoot it and, and share it, then I'm wasting, uh, you know, wasting my time, wasting, wasting a lot of potential. So uh, that isn't saying that I'm not going to get white clay. I'd love to get, get sculpting again, but um, I don't have a, I don't have a specific project. project ready for it. Right. But I always like the projects that push you into doing new. Yes. Learning new skills. Right. And I got and one working new mediums. I got one coming up later this week, probably uh, for music video. There were were. were ordering a toddler's remote control bumper cart and going to try and use that as a base to do this like dancing TV set robot thing. Uh, cause if, kind of oh, similar yeah, to the tread... The yeah, I showed you the pictures. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't, who don't know it, let's just say there's the Treadwell droid from from the original Star Wars, right? The, the first one that Luke is working with when he first sees the blockade runner in orbit. Um, very similar to that idea, only it's it's a little bit faster and spins around a little bit. It's not very fast. Um, so I, I, I get to do that. And uh, that may involve um, the found pages that did mods to the, the, the bumper car already in order to speed it up a little bit. So I'm going to need to do that. And then um, need to make the base and, and actually make it so it, it works. I can do it out of foam. That's actually not my first choice, uh, but oh, realistically, sorry. I might have to because of the speed involved. Um, it wouldn't be that hard to spin and make, because the base is a hemisphere effectively, right? It wouldn't be that hard to spin and make uh, a, a, a form that I could then do fiberglass or something else over. But the amount of time to set all that up to do it, I may as well do it out of foam because as soon as the music video is over, the prop's done. Yeah, and you don't need it to. You don't need anymore. it anymore. No, it's not going to be saved. It's not going to get reused because 
you know, most artists don't like reusing stuff, even though Although movie studios they, do. They like to take them on tour with them because I've like built a flag and they're like, right. but can we have the Yes, please. Yes, please. I built it. I worked on it. Please use it. So, yes. So, yes. Yeah. But yeah, yay we're for projects. Yay for projects. I see my family poking their heads in. Uh, we're running a little over because this still needs to be glued down, and so I thought we'd just as let it. As soon as it's done, we'll be over. Cool. Just thought I'd let it. Uh, whoop. Awesome. <laughs> I saw the camera move. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we thought we'd just continue to to stream while we had to work because that was the we, whole point. <laughs> that was the whole point. And that was actually another uh, talking point we just had, where I don't get to do things for fun anymore. Everything has to be on camera. <laughs> Uh, G Perm, does Odin chat? Oh, I don't shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dragon Knight, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a prop quest. Right, Mark Knight, Ronnie Wright, Knight to all, I'm going now. We've got better things to do, of course you do. Uh, I'm not dissing this channel at all, but hey, good night. It's all good. Hey, good night. Thanks for hanging out for as long as you did. Yeah. And um, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, see you next week, Mark Knight. Uh, Jay Perm is excited about seeing the Minecraft axe way off in the background. Yeah. Do I have a video about it? I actually don't have a video about it on the YouTube channel. What I have is uh, a couple of years ago, I got a sponsorship to make a bunch of TikTok videos. So if you look up Odin Makes on TikTok, I think it's still active. I haven't checked on it. Uh, and this was one of the projects for, for TikTok because they wanted it all to be uh, video game props specifically. So the Minecraft axe was one of those 15-second prop builds. Does TikTok <laughs> even exist? I believe it still does, yes. Oh, okay. It got bought. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Quibi, what is it, Quibi? What is it called? I've already forgotten. The, the short-form video channel that was going to be like 10 minutes or less. Yeah. They don't exist anymore. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That, that, like that, it's no, it's okay. Yeah. Because it it just didn't catch on it it didn't it didn't do what they needed to do and they looked at the numbers and decided that it was better to pull the plug on it now and give their investors back as much as they could instead of just burning it up and still not getting anywhere. So cut their I, losses. Cut their losses. So I think uh, Queeby Quibby uh, made the right choice. Okay. That's right. You stuck the. Uh... <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. I forgot. Because it didn't fit, and I have to finish it at her mother yet. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm laughing. Uh, for the Halloween, she ordered an uh, inexpensive uh, Captain Marvel suit for, for our Halloween live stream. And uh, the suit got shoved inside the Captain Marvel helmet, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. it ended, The description said it comes too small. You okay. know, like, right. warning, it's going to be too tiny. And I ordered it in the extra small. And it was still too big. It was giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually it was. I remember that. It was pretty giant. <laughs> kind of comedically giant. It was kind of comedically giant. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes it. <laughs> no. Almost done. I have this this side and then the bottom. Okay. CD Hag 2000. Hey, Owen, is your family shy? Yeah. Yeah, seems like uh, my wife doesn't really want to be on camera, and that's okay. I'm not going to push her. R.C. Rockin says TikTok got big and then it got banned in the U.S. I didn't think it was still full on banned. I don't pay attention. I never had one. Right. But well, I only had ones that got paid to have one. But, but uh, I remember it being kind of some drama there. There was some drama there, but I don't think it got banned. I thought it got bought at the last minute and got okayed. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I don't the know. The internet will tell us. Yeah, I don't know. I've got uh, I've got a Deadpool cosplay friend that uh, that did really well on TikTok, and, and so um, I haven't had a chance to talk to him. But uh, Simon Witherall, can we see Stormbreaker? Sure. <clears throat> Let go. <laughs> there he is. It's only been hanging there a year. It's stuck and dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize I brought it up that badly. Uh, yeah, so my Stormbreaker, famously with the handle bent the wrong way. Uh, why Why fix it? Because everyone enjoys pointing out that it's wrong. <laughs> you know it's yours. And I know it's mine. Also, the, I think the axe head's disproportionate to the hammer side. Uh, the hammer side's probably right, actually. The axe head is just, I think it needs to be a bit bigger. 
But um, yeah, that was my Stormbreaker, and um, uh, Thorkylees actually carried this around for a while when he was doing uh, um, Infinity War Thor, and there was a music video, I can't remember which, which uh, singer did the video, but it was all about Avengers, and it was before Endgame came out, and this axe was, was in it because Thorkylees was in it as the Thor. He might have even been Bro Thor, but um, anyway, yeah. Famous. Famous. So it's it's fun because it's one that's got the handle on backwards. I think this turned out really good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being patient with me, people. <laughs> so now we have the start of a clamshell. Have the start of a clamshell? Oh, we do. Start of a clamshell. Yeah. It's got some really clean, good lines. It doesn't look nearly as messy as, you know, because I kind of slapped that together, I yeah. feel. Oh, yeah, no. the It wasn't the gap that was the problem. It was if there anything that would show up, it would be the bumps from the glue. And right. so that's why you sanded them off and gave everybody that lovely, you know, concert. Yes, the ASMR screeching. But I think it turned out good. My evil villain screeching. And then these things will get attached Next, next time. You <laughs> next know, time. Next time. We'll get there. Right. It'll happen eventually. But we completed getting the vinyl on. Yeah. So the, the, the base of the clamshell is kind of done. The so base. we're talking about lacing? Yes. Lacing on the top. Rivets. Rivets and lacing. Okay. On the top and sides because we don't really see them and it gives you some flexibility and size of people can wearing the costume. Right. It gives you, you can go up and down in sizing. Very cool. And, and hopefully, um, I got picture confirmation that the, the package was sent, so hopefully by next week we'll have more chain mail, too. Yeah, because we need more chain mail for, the, yeah. <laughs> for his girdle. For his girdle. Yeah, because I wasted it. I, no, was, I think we might have We didn't waste it. Well, you know, I, I played with it as we well. We explored with we it. We explored with it. We figured, figured it out. out. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, so, I so, think we're to the point of... I think we're to the point. 20 we're, minutes over? We're 20 minutes over. Um... So this has been a rambling live stream. We've actually got more done. On the, it's starting to look like a Witcher outfit. We're getting complete pieces. We're getting complete pieces. Yes. And we started out with a case of the Mondays, but ended up having a really good time. And I want to thank all of you who stuck through all this with us. Uh, I want to thank all of you in, in, uh, uh, for my patrons who were chatting away about some channel I can't pronounce in the Discord. Because <laughs> it looks like... Anus Among Us or something. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, but uh, I had a great time. Thank you guys very much. Thank you to those who participated in the super chat. That's really appreciated as well. Is that? That's what the, the, the blue bar is coming up. Okay, yeah. just double checking. Because I know we have the chat and then we have the... Well, there's the Discord. That's just an exclusive place for yeah. my patron members. Uh, but when the blue bars come up uh, on here, it's showing that somebody actually donated. Oh! Wow. And well, that's, thank you. Yeah. So that's, it's, it's, yeah. So thank you guys very much. You did that. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm still proud of you. You got anything you want to, you want to say? No, I think we're pretty good. I'm pretty glad that we got this part finished. And yeah. thank you guys for chilling with me for the last little bit extra. Yeah, now definitely. I see this and it's bothering me. It'll be buried. It will be buried. It'll be buried. It'll be buried. <laughs> Or you're, you are your own worst critic. Really, right? Right. I can see it. Can you? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, thank, you. thank you for joining us on, on, on the Monday live stream. We, uh, we will be back, or at least I will be back. I, I, I never want to guarantee she'll be back because I life almost happens. wasn't here this week. <laughs> almost wasn't here this week. So the plan is we'll be back next Monday. I will guarantee that I will be back next Monday and continuing on with either this, this build or something else. And thank you very much for spending your time with us, whatever time your time zone happens to be, because we had call-ins from all over the world. I know that always just blows, blows my, my mind. mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it really seriously does. It was, it's, it's really, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm Odin. And I'm Felicia. You can find us on Instagram, and you can find us right here next Monday. And, um, yeah, thank you guys. Now you gotta click the right button. Gotta click the right button? Yeah, but I'm talking about Pyramid Head again. Pyramid Head's fun. Oh, look, I'm on the wrong page. Click <laughs> me away. Oh, look, it's Discord. And uh, somewhere over here, 
Sometimes I try to do this off camera so I can look slick like I know what I'm doing. Oh, no. Never. No, no. People in the live stream, they know full well I have no idea what I'm doing. Which is okay. I know, right? 